Oh, I'm here. Sorry about that. Alright. Well, here we are. Sorry it took me so long to stream, but you know, with what's been happening... There. I couldn't. Uh, but yeah. We're gonna do the... The things that I've been doing. Hello, how are you? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna die, probably. For now. Dun-dun. <laughs> Oh, well, this place is just as creepy as Paimon remembers it. If it wasn't for our little investigation, Paimon wouldn't ever come anywhere near this place. Huh? Hey, look! There's someone over there! Oh, it's Yanfei. Yanfei, what are you doing here? <laughs> what, what would a lawyer need to be doing here? <laughs> Oh, Traveler and Paimon? I didn't expect to see you two here. Hi, Yampe. Yampe? Shouldn't you be at work in Lele Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Mm. Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor, please? If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. Oh god, she's doing not lawyer things. Huh? What are you talking about? Yanfei, you didn't do something illegal, did no, you? No, no, it's not like that. Uh, look, it's quite a long story. So if you could, please just cover for me. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, I guess. Hey! And there she goes. What in Tevet was that all about? Paimon's starting to feel nervous all of a sudden. The same, honestly. Uh, do you think she did something illegal and now she's gone into hiding here? <gasps> or maybe something super scary <clears throat> happened? Oh my god, uh... <laughs> doubt it, Yamfei's a legal advisor after Don't all. Don't be so naive! The world is complicated these days, you know. We should be prepared for the worst. If something really did happen, we might find ourselves becoming our accomplices. <laughs> Yeah, sure, Paimon, whatever you say. Oh, what a dilemma. Should we really cover for her? <laughs> Paimon, you're the one that's both naive and complicated. Oh! Hey, guys. Oh, hey, you over there! Yeah, you! How did you guys get to Liwa? Ah, someone's coming! Oh, God, are we gonna throw beans at him again? Uh, that voice sounds pretty familiar. You know, I love... Ah, <laughs> it's you two. So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? Wait, don't tell me. Hmm, you're on vacation. The one at Oniedo. I must say, you two are looking pretty good. Things been going your way lately? Cause I have been doing amazing. <laughs> I just want to know how you got here. Uh, Ito? Who's that behind you? Uh, Shinobu! Hey there, I'm with the Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu, nice to meet you. Oh, I love her already. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, all right. I almost forgot she was back there. Let me introduce you to Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. Oh my oh, god. Another member of Ito's gang. She's so cute. I know. I oh my god, they're a little hood. Let me tell you, she's one of Hanamizaka's best and brightest, so of course she's in the gang. Shinobu takes care of practically everything in the Arataki gang. She can protect you guys too, you know. A friend of the boss is a friend of mine. You must be the traveler in Paimon. Yep, yep. Nice to meet you too, Shinobu. Meet you, Shinobu. The pleasure's mine. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. So, uh, Ito, if she's the one that takes care of everything in the gang, then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss. To the four God. corners of Tevat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang, a me. <laughs> uh, okay, Paimon gets the dynamic now. 
a useless mess with an ultra-capable subordinate. Yep. Hey, you... Uh, you know what? Forget it. The average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the Arataki gang. As the leader, I can't let myself stoop down to your level. Sure, buddy. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> have you seen a pink-haired legal uh, mage lady? Wears a goofy hat, knows everything, kind of short. Kind of short? Uh-oh. Oh, so you're who Yanfei was running from. Her name's Yanfei. She's a legal advisor from Liyue. I thought perhaps you two would know her. Oh, no. We haven't seen her. We don't know this person at all. <laughs> Seriously, Paimon? Aha, so you have seen her. Uh, no. What gave you that idea? Paimon didn't say anything. Uh... Oh, look at you getting all antsy. <laughs> Seems I was able to get to the truth after all. When someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I assure you we don't have any ill intentions. So, uh, you guys know Yanfei? Well, she, uh, kind of saved my life, so... Yeah, you could say we've met. Oh. She saved your life? She saved your life? Wait, hold on. What are you two <laughs> doing in the chasm anyway? Sorry, Paimon could be a bit slow. You know that the Sakoku decree has been lifted recently in Inazuma, right? Well, Shinobu wanted to come to Liyue and pick up her graduation certificate. I came along because it's safer to travel in numbers. Sure, buddy. Graduation certificate? Did you study in Liyue? Yes. I studied law at the Tongwen Academy in Liyue. Unfortunately, the Sakoku decree was implemented just when I was home visiting my family before graduation. So, I'm a few years late getting my graduation certificate. Oh, do you think they would still have it if by that point? If you're a few years late? We were taking care of some errands in Liyue, and the boss got tangled up with some millilith while we were standing in a line. He was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenfei happened to be walking past and helped us out. Who, Yenfei or Shinobu? Because, yeah. Yep, if it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me in the slammer. <laughs> So, you know, oh, I just wanted you know. to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I do. Because she's with this idiot. <laughs> but she said she didn't need my help with anything. I thought there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. Yeah, just in case she needs me to come leaping to her rescue. <laughs> Don't I usually repay acts of kindness like this? Listen, Granny said that a man must learn to be grateful, and I'm gonna help this legal advisor lady no matter what it takes. <laughs> I love him so uh, much. That's nice and all, but what if she really doesn't need your help? And also, why would you be needing to get a graduation certificate in here? <laughs> You're joking, right? I mean, that's not possible. Of course she needs my help. Oh, God. <clears throat> Traveler. Are we trying to hint at something? That way. Maybe she's hinting for me to distract Ito? Um, yeah, they went that way. Ah, great. Thanks. I'll go after her. Shinobu, time to roll. Fear not, my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue. Oh, there he goes. Oh, my precious little sunshine baby. I appreciate the help. Until next time. Hi, you're so pretty. I love you. Uh, oh, my. Traveler, did you just send Ito the wrong way on purpose? Huh. Shinobu seemed pretty sharp. Paimon doesn't think you can pull one on her like that. Uh. Or maybe she knows that Ito can be a big nuisance, so she's trying to stop him from bothering Yanfei. Oh, if that's the case, then wow, she really knows how to call the shots. Yeah, that's probably that's the second one. <laughs> well, at least this way nobody will be bothering Yanfei. If we run into her again later, we should let her know that we helped her out. Seriously, what are they all doing here? Hmm. All right, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time. Woo! Yeah, let's go. Perilous Trail, Interlude Chapter Act Two. Cool. We go. God, the music here is so good. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wait, is this where the... Yeah, this is where it wants me to go. I'm like, is this where it wants... Oh, there she is. Yenfei! <laughs> Die, bomber! Coming in! Look! Yenfei is here, too! Hey, Yenfei! We sent away the people that were following you. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. The guy with the weird outfit seemed super outgoing. Normally, I don't mind making friends, but I've got work to do today. Oh? So what kind of work are you doing in a place like this? Aw, oh, don't tell Paimon you're thinking about becoming an adventurer, too. Well, as a legal advisor, sometimes I also have to travel in person. I came to the chasm to deal with a will. Will? Uh, well, what? A will? That's right. I found a will inside an old book. I'm guessing it was left by someone of great importance. It appears he lost a magical device and wished to retrieve it. Huh. Paimon didn't know legal advisors have to deal with that kind of thing. Huh, what a job! Hmm. Will execution is also part of my work as a legal advisor. Of course, cases like this are quite rare. The chasm is not the kind of place you can just waltz into whenever you want. Yeah, that's true. Oh? So you do know what kind of place this is. Oh, shit! Ah, who's that? Ah, I thought I might find you here. Hi, Elon. Dang, she's so cool. <laughs> Whatever case you're working on in the chasm, I'm sure Liyue's top legal consultant can handle it without my input. I love how, like, when we first came to the chasm, she just showed up and didn't say a word. But, like, didn't say anything. She was just, like, saved you from the ser ruined servant. I thought that was cool. <laughs> That's funny. I thought we'd established that my legal opinion doesn't count for anything when Yelan's around. She is cool. It's too bad I'm not pulling for her. Uh, who is she? This is Yelan. Leo is, uh... Well, let's just say she works in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I can at least say that much, right? Anyway, she's a friend of mine. I, w I will. Like, I'm not gonna not try her. Sure. Coincidentally, I have something to do here as well. Seems chance has brought us all together. You may not know me, Traveler in Paimon, but I've certainly heard about you. Oh, really? I guess I do have many friends in Liwa. You're all here on business, and it's my job to monitor the chasm. <clears throat> According to regulations, I should accompany you. Yes, please. But, I mean, what? as it turns out, I have other things that require my attention. I'm afraid I can't join you this time. Aww. You may go about your business. Just try not to make a ruckus. Oh, that's most unfortunate. I was about to ask for your assistance. Could you spare a little time to help me take care of this will? For old time's sake? Hmm, I don't know. Depends what's in it for me. You're like Genshin James Bond. She's so cool. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose even a guide needs to get paid. It just so happens that Madame Ping gave me some nice tea. I'll treat you to a cup if you agree. <laughs> Why don't you tell me a little more about how you got here first? Then I'll... Hey, you! Oh boy. Ito's uh, back. Ito? What is he doing back here? I know what you two did. You really tried to throw me off, didn't you? <laughs> well, and I thought we were buds. Well, they're also my friends, so, uh, sorry, buddy. That's close enough. Uh oh. Huh? Who are you? Sorry, this area is part of the chasm, it's closed to the general public. Are you kidding me? I, I I don't see any warning signs or fences. What gives you the right to keep me out? <laughs> Kid, where there's real danger, you'll never see a warning sign. Uh, Paimon never knew this place was so important. Well, it really is an unusual place. I mean, did you see that giant mechanical snake? It's true. This is not a place you can just go in and out of as you wish. That's also why I didn't want anyone to follow me. Unfortunately, you didn't listen. The Traveler has done a lot for Liyue in the past. And Yenfei is a renowned legal consultant in Liyue, so I can trust their intentions. As for you two... <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? 
You're trying to say that I'm not famous enough and my intentions are no good? I don't know your background, so I can't give you free passage here. Besides, Yenfei doesn't seem to need your help, does she? Oh, she told you, son. Ah, how would you know what Yenfei needs? What, are you two joined at the hip or something? Ito, Ito, please. Right. Anyway, I don't need to be a mind reader to see that. In any case, as a visitor <laughs> from Inazuma, I'd suggest you defer to a local when in doubt. Stick to the local rules and keep yourself out of trouble. Uh, sorry, that's kind of impossible for him to do. <laughs> Why, you? Please, try not to be so impulsive. She is right, you know. <laughs> Things are starting to get a little heated here. Oh, Jesus, what do we do? Oh, not good. He really shouldn't start butting heads with Yelon. She'd win. It's true that we don't know anything about the unique conditions of this place. So we'll heed your advice and leave immediately. But if this really is a dangerous area, seriously, you should put up a sign. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, consider it. Oh, yeah? And what if we don't leave? Hmm? <laughs> Can I punch him? Boss. Then... I'm afraid things might get unpleasant. Oh, Is that so? You really think you can take the two of us? <laughs> Gotta admit, I like your optimism. Not optimism, it's fucking knowledge. Although you're friends with the Traveler and Yenfei, I'd still suggest you heed my warning. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, but uh, too bad I'm not buying it. If you're so strong, then why don't you show me what you got? <laughs> Hold on, boss. There's no need to start a fight here. Yeah, tell him, Shinobu. Oh, no. I'm going in whether she likes it or not. <laughs> <laughs> you think I was joking around, huh? Oh, no. These two are about to go at it. Please, wait a minute, you two. This whole thing started because of me. Why don't you just save me the embarrassment and just... Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ground is shaking. Uh-oh. It's a... <laughs> Earthquake? Hey, stop trying to change the subject. I'm gonna... Uh, 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 huh? Oh, God. What's going on? Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh, God. Are we going deeper down the chasm? Oh shit. There's some there's other places there's like another place. Oh shit, man. You know, look what you made us do. <laughs> now where are we? I'm fine. Uh, ow. <laughs> Putting my books under me to break the fall didn't help at all. Come on, you're a lawyer. You're supposed to be smart. <sighs> this place. Oh, hey, that's where her vision is. <laughs> where are we? Uh, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Uh, hey, Shinobu, traveler, and my savior. Is everyone okay? <sighs> well, this is an unfortunate turn of events. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Hey, so, uh, how far down did we fall? Uh, are we in hell now? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I say hell. <laughs> it seems the ground collapsed during our little confrontation up there. Perhaps because we triggered the elemental forces. Well, don't look at me. If you weren't so rude, maybe I wouldn't have gotten mad. <sighs> Who can put up with that kind of dude? It's my duty <laughs> to stop intruders from breaking into important places. If telling the truth sounds rude, <laughs> then I'm afraid you're just a little too fragile. Oh, she's got you there, boy! Hey, life's too short to give in all the time. I mean, that's also true, but like... <laughs> it's still Boss, funny. I'm afraid you're not going to win this argument. I suggest we stop provoking her. I, I agree. Hey, whose side are you on here? The logical side. I'm simply pointing out the facts. I understand how you feel, but you're making my life difficult by starting random fights with everyone. 
<laughs> Looks like Ito can't argue against either Yelon or Shinobu. He's in a real tough spot now. <laughs> so Ito and Shinobu are kind of like you and me? Uh, hey! What do you mean? Don't you dare compare Paimon to Ito! <laughs> That's what you deserve, Paimon. <laughs> whoa, whoa! What do you mean? You looking for a fight too? Oh god. <laughs> Everyone knows you're a bit of an idiot. Is this the one time I'm agreeing with Paimon? You calling me an idiot? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, you're a, a puny little flying lavender melon, ha! Oh my god, I love him so much. Flying lavender melon? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad! Time to give you an ugly nickname! Bullchucker? Uh, Bullchucker! Mm. You better mind your manners, Bullchucker! Paimon, that's not... That's... Aegis! Hi! How are you? Um... That's not really an ugly nickname so much as it what he literally does. Like, he literally... Literally chucks a bull at you. So, like, that... I... I, I don't know if that's effective... As effective as you want it to be, Paimon. <laughs> we seem to be a long way down from where we fell. <laughs> it's impossible to see what's going on up above. <laughs> they're, they're arguing in the background. Yeah, it has. Sorry, I, like, honestly, the whole... <laughs> hey, the, I didn't have anything to stream, alright? Yay! Jean Gang, Jean Gang! She's... <sighs> <sighs> it's unlikely we'll be able to climb back up that far. We'll need to find another way. No, dude, Jean is amazing. I love her so much, and I'm sad- She was my first 5-star, and I'm sad I didn't build her until, like, a few months ago. I'm sorry to interrupt your lovely little chat here, but I think there's something you may need to know. The chasm is regarded as a mysterious area in Liyue. It was sealed off for years due to a mining accident. Whatever goes on down here, I suggest you remember this. You didn't see anything, you didn't hear anything, and you're not gonna ask any questions. Save you from getting caught up in things you shouldn't know about. Jesus, she's so cool. Ah, okay. I won't treat you as hostiles. And in exchange, I hope you won't make things difficult when it comes to keeping secrets. I'll do what I can to find a way out. All right. Huh? Well, where does she think she's going? Like she said, to search for an exit. Chances are that Yelan is the best among us at survival and handling emergencies. We should just let her go. I'm afraid I must apologize. I don't typically disclose details of a client's will to third parties, which is why I couldn't tell you the truth. <sighs> I'm sorry. Thirded. I, 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 am, I, I am in agreement with that. I came to the chasm in search of the Fantastic Compass, which is mentioned in the will. Many years ago, my client gave this magical <laughs> device to someone ambitious, hoping that it'd be handy in times of need. Ambitious? According to an eyewitness account, the person who received the device took it into the chasm and has been missing ever since. Throughout history, many wars have been fought in the vicinity of the chasm. Even if that person died in one of the wars, I still wish to do my utmost and find the device and fulfill the client's wish. Yelan's words of caution were not unwarranted. There are dangers lurking in the chasm. I'm sure you've all realized that by now. Given that we're all caught in this mess, let's try to find a way out together. I'm excited, Whatever man. you say, my savior, I'll do whatever you ask. From now on, we're a team. All of us. And as for that big jerk, well... Hmm, I guess that includes her, too. <laughs> you said Yelan works for the Ministry of Civil Affairs, huh? Paimon can tell she's tougher than most, but... Wow. Her job sounds demanding! Oh, I, I bet it's good. <clears throat> I'm excited to learn more about Zhao, and even though he he's like... Well, that's what she tells outsiders. I can't disclose too much about her identity, but I'd say she's the only person who can handle this type of work. Yelan. Or Ye yeah, Yelan. What kind of lame job would have someone go out to the middle of nowhere? Oh, I'm a nose! An adventurer! Uh -huh. Hey! 
What's with the face? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong? That's literally what the two of us do, isn't it? I'm literally right here, Paimon. Jesus Christ. I'm the adventurer, not you. Uh, you're so stingy these days. <laughs> oh, just let Paimon be an adventurer by association, okay? You swing the sword or the claymore or the, the, the bow? No. Yeah, she's got a point, Traveler. You're Paimon's boss. Take it from me. As a great leader, you should learn to be a little more generous. You know, let your sidekick share some of the glory. <laughs> He's winking at me. Ugh, you really don't understand anything about us. Yeah, really. Paimon, don't take him too seriously. He's just joking. Yeah, I'm saving all my gems for Shinobu. I want to see Sixer. She's so cool. Look at it. I love her. Ugh. For the sake of Shinobu, fine. <laughs> I'm the boss, so I'll let it slide. Hmm. God. <laughs> These two are insane, and I love... Perhaps this was another sealed location, but an undocumented one. What could be in here? I've got some food and water on me. If anyone needs some, just let me know. Great! You know, Bull Checker, you may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but your subordinate here seems super capable and reliable. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. Isn't she the best? What? Hey! I am too a sharp tool! No, you're not. <laughs> there seems to be an entrance up ahead, with a path inside. Wonder where it leads to? Well, let's go take a look. Oh... You just I don't know if I ever showed you, but look what I look at. What? Oh wait, I got the jade spear. <laughs> My first five star spear. So I gave it to. Yeah. <laughs> now my physical jungle is is. Who would have guessed we'd find a domain entrance in a place like this? Oh, here we go. There's a way in, then there's a way out. Let's go and take a look. The rocks here seem to be old Liyue mountain rocks. They're similar to what I've seen in books. This domain must have existed for quite some time now. Uh -oh. What's that sound? <gasps> <gasps> oh, oh, it's Xiao! It's Xiao! H hi! Conqueror of demons? What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, I came down from above. Uh, I heard oh a God. noise, so I followed it here. He's so cute. What the fuck, Joe? So you're not here by accident. Hmm. Want to team up? No, I have something else to do. Something important? I'm looking for someone. You shouldn't be here. I would urge you to go back as soon as possible. <laughs> my, my, almost, my, my immortal baby. <laughs> oh, he just, okay. Bye. Shows up without a warning and disappears without a trace. Uh. <coughs> oh yeah, um... I think... I forgot what happened exactly, but it just stopped. It, like... I think the owner just didn't want to deal with it anymore and just discontinued it. Huh. That guy looked pretty tough. Maybe almost as tough as me. Seems mm -hmm. like a solid dude. It was sad because I really liked the 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 server, but you know. Seriously, bull checker, where do you get your confidence from? <laughs> Should we really be letting him go off on his own? Oh yeah, that's Yao. Yeah, he does that. He's 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 he doesn't. He's not big on crowds. Oh, he wouldn't listen, no matter how much you tried to talk him out of it. He is super tough though, so don't worry about him. Everyone, keep your eyes and ears peeled from here on out. We don't know what lies ahead, so we have to be ready for anything. Oh, look, I'm happy to say we're all on the same team and everything, but uh, could you cut the little speeches and the whole follow the leader act? I, for one, think I should be able to look after myself. Um, we miss you too. I, but I understand, I, yeah, I was just, I was very confused. I asked Morgan about it, but... Then that's what she told me, so I don't know. Well, what could he do? Boss! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Ito! 
Ah, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Besides, Elon is just looking out for everyone. You know, Bullchucker, you're a guest here, so maybe try to get along with everyone. She's probably one. Ah, please, you're not a local either, Flying Lavender Melon. So stop trying to sound like one. I mean, he has a point. All right, let's see. Do we just go in? Okay. Is this the team I go with? Uh, yeah. This is the team I go with. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if it was, like, anything weird, so I'm just like... Let's do it. I haven't used Edo in a while anyway, so... I should use it more, especially if I want C2 because I'm pulling for Shinobu, you know. Alright, let's see. Labyrinths like this are unique to Liyue. This place is actually pretty cool. Oh, we weren't in such a hurry to get out. We kick back and enjoy the scenery a little. Stabilize! Let's roll. Can't catch me. All these twisted Whoa. turns remind me of the Adeptite domains we've been to before. Yeah. Could there be an Adeptus here? Could be. Oh, this is fun. I'm already telling- I already like this. Uh, down there? chest oh look a chest <laughs> that's like my that's like my that's like the it's like the motto of these streams oh look a chest <laughs> oh you don't say your lines you know they're funny oh oh hey a chest did i do it right or oh yes i love he's my favorite character <laughs> really oh my god i I didn't win my 50-50 for him, so I was just like, well, here we go. No, wait, that's the wrong way. Can't catch me. Uh, up here? No. <laughs> did, I go did I do the wrong thing? I probably did the wrong thing. God damn it. That's true. I saw her do it. I was so upset. Like, I... <laughs> I was like, God damn it. Wait, or uh, what do we? Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> okay, but I didn't like mean. It. I didn't mean that I hated her so much. I just was like very like. Hold on, I probably did it, did it wrong. <laughs> no, that's... Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Do I have to go back and flip it? I probably have to go back and flip it. Oh, this is... Oh, God. Okay, um... I may need you, you guys to help me. I may need you, your, you guys to help me out if I get stuck. Because <laughs> I'm not good at puzzles. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I see now. I, I did figure that out, though, kind of. Alright, buddies. Stabilize! This is order! Alrighty. We'll be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. 
Showtime! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I love the exploding pyro. For real, for real. I mean, isn't that just what it is for you? <laughs> the, the, the brainwave is like 100% of the time. <laughs> All the time. Oh shit, hi! Oh god. Kamisato up. Sweet. Let's roll. Oh, I threw it the wrong way. Uchi, I'm sorry. I <laughs> order guide you. Ye. Gather. Cascade. <laughs> oh, he was on top! Ushi, no! <laughs> Get off of him! Ah, the damage! Mwah. Oh, that- Look over there! It looks like an exit! Oh, that was it? Alright. On to the next one. Yeah, well, oh, any Ushi time is good time. <laughs> I love that. I love that chonky little lad. I I told my friend like I'm gonna name my Lechong Ushi, and she's like, "Isn't Ushi Ushi cow in Japanese?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I know it's a pig, but, you know. I got it to name him a chunky. Wh huh? Wait, this ain't right. Dang it, foiled again. Uh, how did we end up back here? So we've been here already? Oh, God. Yes, this is exactly where we started. You know, please. I love you, but stop being stupid for five minutes. But we couldn't have taken a wrong turn. We were headed in the same direction the entire time. We never turned around. Uh, well, technically, we did. Yes, that's what I thought, too. Oh, jeez, they're agreeing now. The world is ending. Traveler, we were going the right way, weren't we? Yeah, I thought... Yes, I thought we were headed in the right direction. How strange! <clears throat> hmm. There's a legend in Inazuma about a merchant who was tricked by a Bake Danuki one evening and kept circling around the same place the whole night. Even by dawn, they still hadn't found a way out. Oh. Yeah, Pyron's heard that one before, too. So we're all familiar with the story, then? Good, because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening to us right now. But we're in Liwa, not Inazuma. But fear not. I happen to have a certain sidekick who can exercise yokai and spirits and whatnot. Let me summon him real quick. Bushi! Unbelievable. An Oni who's friends with an exorcist? Huh. What an open-minded guy! What? Wait, Uchi could... Is an exorcist? For the boss, ignorance is a virtue. Oh. You're up, Uchi! Go get that spirit! <laughs> oh, I love Uchi so much! Oh. Oh, look at him, he's just vibing! Oh, he's so cute, look at him go! This is Uchi, an auxiliary member of the Arataki gang! He's so cute! Look at that vibe! Oh, I love him! Chunky boy. <laughs> oh, I love you! Look at you go! Oh, look at him! He's just he's dancing a jig! Ah, oh, he's so cute! He's just... Sorry, okay. <laughs> oh, Ushi says hello, everyone. You can just call him Ushi or Beefcake. Yeah, he's got a keen sense oh. of direction, so I'll let him lead the way. He's so cute! <laughs> I didn't know gangs could have auxiliary members. <laughs> this does not have the trappings of something that's gonna work. <laughs> I believe th uh, that. I yeah. Mhm. Mm I believe you. I believe that. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> All right, go Ushi. Go find us a way out of here. I love him. Look at him go. <laughs> Not. Huh? So much. What's that? Oh, really? Oh, no way. Oh. What's wrong? Ushi says he searched everywhere, but there's no exit. 
<laughs> that doesn't add up. If we were able to come in, then there must be a way to get out. Here, let me take another look. Has anyone else noticed this? We initially thought we fell here from above. At that time, there was a way out high overhead. But now, it seems even that exit has disappeared. Shit. Inexplicable, if you ask me. Trapped in here forever! It seems there's more than meets the eye with these underground structures. Am. Hmm. I'm gonna take another look around. Okay, bye. Everywhere we look, there are just more and more rocks. Uh, maybe we've just misremembered. Maybe this isn't the place we started from. Oh, okay. I do want to try it at least once, though. What? You scared now? Oh, she. Let him go. I love him so much. Yeah, just to see what 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 it's about. No, Paimon's super brave. <coughs> mm, sorry, I'm just watching him dance. He's just so cute. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, uh, Ushi also thinks you're scared. It's okay. Don't be scared to admit you're uh, <laughs> scared. You've got us here to protect you. <laughs> I'm here for you too, Paimon. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs. Let's keep looking for a way out. Shinobu, you stay here with my precious savior. I'll take the traveler and Paimon with me. Got it. Be careful, everyone. Please, there's no need to keep calling me savior. Just Yenfei is fine. Mr. Arataki, it seems that as the head of the Arataki gang, you <laughs> possess a strong sense of leadership. Head was in... Significantly large air quotes. <laughs> ah, too kind, too kind. And just call me Ito. Since we're a team now, we should have each other's backs. Uh, Paimon, if you feel scared again, I can cover your eyes for you. <laughs> oh my god, Ito, please. Went into teams to investigate the surroundings, but failed to find anything. <sighs> oh. Seems there's really no way out. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> He's just the cutest thing ever. I love this little cow. I can't shake the feeling that there's something off about this place. I just noticed he named his cow, cow his bull cow. I'm like, yep, that's Boss, out there. did you guys find anything over there? Nope, nothing. Not only that, I could have sworn I saw some shadows moving a second ago. <sighs> this place better not be haunted. <laughs> Probably not the right time to ask this, but... Paimon just can't help it. Ito, you're an Oni. Doesn't that kind of mean everywhere you go is haunted? Uh, no. Ignore the red horns, okay? I I'm talking about spooky, floaty ghosts. Now you see them, now you don't kind of haunted. <laughs> uh, Ito, are you afraid of ghosts? Oh, shit. Oh, no, boss. You've been found out. Oh, you're afraid of ghosts. And she just walks off. <laughs> I love. Sh I'm, I'm already in love with Shinobu so much. I'm so excited. What? Me? <laughs> no way. What? Are you kidding? <sighs> Stop choking around. Uh... Seriously, though. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Looking at you, Paimon suddenly doesn't feel scared anymore. Hey, Bullchucker, if you're scared, Paimon can cover your eyes for you. <laughs> and Ushi is still vibing. They say he's vibing to this day. Maybe I should make better use of my time. <laughs> For real. Nobu walked off to grab a few stones. Then she took out some twigs and lavender melons from her pocket. What? Add a little salt and some pepper. Oh, are you cooking them? Are you roasting lavender melon? Yeah, roasted lavender melon is delicious. You can try some when it's done. Okay. All right. There are two types, sweet and savory. Which would you prefer? Uh, I'm happy with either. All right, you can try them both then. It's important that we remain calm, especially when we're in the throes of a tough situation like this. Okay, settle down. If I'm reading the situation correctly, there <laughs> seems to be some secret here that the boss and I are not supposed to know about. But don't worry, I'll distract the boss while you discuss things with the others. Oh, I thought I smelled something cooking. Would you like some, Yenfei? Thank you, but I'm not hungry. You guys go ahead. 
Oh, and by the way, I haven't seen you in a while, Shinobu. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? The last time I saw you was when you taught one of my classes as a substitute while I was studying in Liyue. Substitute teacher? Ah, yes, now I remember. It was during winter, wasn't it? Oh, yes. that's cute. I remember everyone said your lecture was very interesting. Now that I think about it, <laughs> I should call you senpai. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <sighs> Who would have ever guessed that we'd get caught up in such a dilemma together? It must be fate. So Yanfei gives lectures too? That's incredible. Not only that, she's funny and engaging while she speaks. Needless to say, she's very popular among the students. Yeah, Yanfei seems fun. Just like a fun person to be around if she just doesn't talk lawyery and stuff all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> <sighs> I see everyone is still here. Hello. Yelon. We split into groups and searched the area, but there are no signs of any way out. How about you? Did you manage to find anything? <laughs> Uchi, the pale. No. And though I'd prefer not to say it, we'd better mentally prepare ourselves. If we can't find a way out, we may be stuck underground for some time. <sighs> I think you might be right. I understand. Hmm, an underground space with an entrance, but no exit. <clears throat> it just doesn't make any sense. I'll figure something out. Just give me some time. I'm sure time is something we'll have a lot of down here. If anyone happens to find a potential exit, please be sure to take every precaution before exploring further. Think of it, Zhao is here too. He said we could always call his name if we get into trouble. Maybe it's worth a try. Hey, Traveler! What's with the serious face? <gasps> Do you have a plan? Well, I was just thinking that Zhao is also here, remember? Zhao! Oh, right! Do you want to get in to help us? I think it's worth a try. Sure! Let's give it a shot! <sighs> Zhao, can you hear me? <sighs> uh, Zhao? Huh. No response. Paimon thought Xiao would come no matter where we are. Oh no, does that mean even Xiao can't sense our presence here? I wonder what this could mean. That could mean. What's the deal with this place? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> That's it. I want to take another look. And this time, I, Arataki, uh, the one and only, will... Boss! Whoa, whoa. What's up, Sourpuss? <laughs> Shut up for five minutes. Time for some roasted lavender melon. Huh? We're trapped in a life-and-death situation underground, and you're telling me it's time for roasted lavender melon? Aww. Interesting. You hear that? Ushi says you're completely right. Wait, hold on. Whose side are you on, Beefcake? <laughs> Beefcake. <laughs> it's important to stay so replenished. Cute. We must keep our energy and morale up in preparation for facing the unknown. Even Ushi knows that. Fine, you two are... Hey, are you already eating? Well, hold on, is it still warm? Oh, oh that does smell good. Mm. Is that armor on his back or a house? I never understood what that was. Fine, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll have a quick snack and then we'll, uh, and then we'll keep looking for a way out. Hey, don't eat them all, I'll leave a couple for me! <laughs> I think it's a armor. Yeah. Although it looks like a house. Or it makes him look like a house. Hi, Ampe. Hmm. Who could have ever guessed we'd get trapped in a place like this? It's quite the predicament. For all the studying I've done in my life, all I know is how to land people in prison. I don't know the first thing about breaking out of one. Yeah, I would kind of hope you wouldn't know how to do that. I even made a contract with my father to live a happy life. I can't give up hope now. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. Your dad is an adeptus, and you're half adeptus, like uh, Gondio. Try and stay positive. At least I've explored a new place and seen more of the world while reuniting with some old friends. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's still a silver lining, I guess. You and I have a... No. <laughs> Oh boy. Where's Yelan? 
<laughs> Got her. Uh, are the you all right? The situation is grim. There doesn't appear to be a way out for now. We should be prepared to stay for a while. Fortunately, we don't seem to lack supplies, oh. and even our motley crew has people who can keep their cool when the stakes are high. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. Got it. Interact with a mysterious wooden board in that specific place to visit the realms of guile and war. Take part in the combat challenge. Oh, hey, the challenge. All right. Where is it? Oh, I gotta wait till the next day. But I do want to try the thing once. Just to, uh... Just to know what it is. Where's the sign? Hello? <laughs> oh, there it is. Realm. <laughs> Alright, start opposing force. Three rounds in total. Each time one comb combat round is completed, you must choose one character to continue combat while the other party members... We'll be unable to do so. Is it str- what- what's- it- Is it stern antagonism? Is that medium- is that medium difficulty? I think it is. Cause default animosity just sounds like a beginner- beginning. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so we got Yulan, Shenhe, Yunjin, Yanfei, Kaching, Chongers, Kishichi, and Xingxiao. Electro, Electro, Electro. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go. I shouldn't use any Electro. Oh, well, because of the slimy, so I'm probably not gonna. Electro characters. Let's go. <laughs> You're so certain it's going to. <laughs> You're right, though, probably. Um. Uh. Oh. Need a healer. Um. Pyro or Pyro? Alright, gun you. Alright, let's see. Stratagems? Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Greatly enhances the character's jumping ability. Character's plunging attack together in a cyclone. So we pick three of these? Is that what that what the thing is telling us? Okay, let's gotta get closer to the TV. It's kinda hard to read the small text. Okay, let's see. After entering combat, non active party members the elemental energy percent. I'm gonna do the skill. Uh. Oh, fun. <laughs> I'm not a big Final Fantasy person, so it's whatever for me. Uh, wait. Who did I pick again? Zhang Li, Yolan, Jean, and. Okay. So. Go oh, talk this one. Oh. <laughs> Yay, I guess. I go this one. This one. Okay. All right. Let's. Oh, shields. Okay. I think that's good. Alright, let's see what this is all about. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. All right, let's see where we're at here. Uh, oh, okay. This is 
order. Quietly now. You are about to get dicey. Born of ice and frost. This is long overdue. Wait, hear me. <laughs> wow, she already got her burst back. Cool. Alright. this a lot. I will have order. Quietly now. Here comes the catch. Blaze over. This is order. Now where do I go? Oh, I go down here. Wee! Oh fuck! <laughs> Invisible walls. Stabilize. Gotcha. These are about to get dicey. Oh. Oh, she does. No touching. Oh, hi, big guy. Nice. Solidify. Gotcha. Oh. Now, is Order it? Guide you. Quake! These are about to get dicey. Oh. So is it only with normal attacks that she can... She... Her dice does the thing? Oh. Oh, I see. Wait, does she kick her bow? Oh my god, that's actually really cool. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm kinda sad, I didn't even really need Jean that much. <laughs> Cause I just killed everything really quick. Um... So can you use everyone, like... Can you use... Like, if you, like, say, go with Yolan, and then... <sighs> Honestly, I wanna... I kind of look... Mm... Okay, just answer me this before I choose. If you, like, say you pick Jongli and then the other three go away, can they come back in the round after the next round? Or... I don't know, like, how this... Uh... Yeah, fine. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's gonna be... Rock Shield Wall, Metatural, Crackling Axe, Metatural, Blazing Axe... Oh, the Samurai! Mirror Maidens, Fatubis... Uh, uh, mm. Okay, so let's see.
Yeah, I did. There, there's a bunch of watery, so I get just to be on the safe side, and let's go with uh. You know what? Sure, why not? Let's do that. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, they kind of do. Um, let's see. Charge attack, 50 damage, elemental, uh, field. Party members, electro and hydro damage will be increased. I chose Miko. Oh no, I didn't. Mm. So maybe not that one. Sometimes I gotta. Let's see. Oh, this was a good one. Uh. Shock damage. <laughs> Swagger, that's a Pokemon move. Um. Let's just keep with this. I can't choose. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I see. Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's see how this goes. Chi Chi is not built at all, so this this is this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Thank god I have Zhongli, I just wanted to bring her Stabilize. Huh. Oh Burn it this hit 95k on a meteor oh my god what actually is that what was that uh, uh, okay whoops i didn't mean to do that opening box oh i didn't mean to do that either that's fine <laughs> Okay, on a meteor. This is order. Finally, I <laughs> Man, I wish I could get there on my own, but whatever. Gather. All right, buddies, who's next? The insult. Fly. I'm set. <laughs> Where are you? Burn. Oh? First line of 
serve! Strike is one! K physical. Now get off of me, you jerk. I will have order. Stabilize. Oh my god, where am I? Burn. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Woo! Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> God, that was something. Um, all right. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Geovich, was that the Geo? Oh, the, oh. Oh, that guy, oh. Okay, 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 um. I I hit 95 meet 95k on a meteor. Oh, Kazuha? Okay. Uh This is the last one, right? Okay, the active character's charge attack no longer. Well, I'm. I will take this one because I have both the hydro and an electro character, so. Oh wait, no, not that one, this one. Attacker, haha. -ha. Well, not really a normal attacker, but like, yeah. Okay. I like that. No. There we go. Okay. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's see where we're going here. Yeah. Solidify. Where are you, assholes? As one with wind and cloud. The wind knows me. Emerge. Right here. The depths are back. Cascade. Beautiful. Yay! Can I stop running into invisible walls when I fly down, please? Thank you. Most appreciated. Oh boy, here we go. Show them. Right now. Emerge. Nothing lasts forever. You 
amount of times I've had to fight this battle because I've been, I was farming for Pale Flame is excruciating. Um, but you know, we deal, we deal. No. Into the wind. Woo! Come on out, right now. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight! Wind strike. Cascade. Oh. Ow. Fuck you. Solidify. Come on out. That's how that's the skill to pay the bill, baby. Aha. Oh. The battle with the bishop with the big boy. Oh hi! God, you were like spawned right in front of my face. I will have order. Oh good, he's a pyro guy. The wind knows. Emerge. Right now. Emerge. Cascade. Mind the damage. A sight to behold. Haha! -ha. Bitch. Birds have. The birds come! Into the wind. Crumble. One with nature. I love, <laughs> I love that it hurts itself. Show them. Right here. Emerge. <laughs> Woo, I did it! Haha! <laughs> Fuck you, society. Um, alright. I just wanted to try it once, that's all. So we can continue now. <laughs> that's fun, actually. I love that the- that the- it's strongest it- I love that it's strongest attack and hurt it. It's just hilarious to me. That's always been hilarious to me. Sorry, my headset wants to fall down all the time. Alrighty. Oh. Got some stuff to do. <laughs> Bitch, I already fought you 5,000 times because I want Kazuo, you know? That's what complete almost deception. It's Oh, so you get him even though you... Okay, that's cool. Yay, resin! Lord knows I need that. <laughs> At the same time? Oh, so I gotta wait till the next day. Well, it didn't give us a time, so I just... Because there, there's no sunlight in here. Oh, shit. Well. Alright, we're here. Lemons! How good is roasted melon, really? Uh, there's nothing for Paimon to do here! Hey! So boring! How are you? Oh, oh Paimon longs to stretch her legs and run free in the world outside again! You mean fly. Oh, all right, fly free then. Basically, Paimon just wants out of here. Like that, a whole day has gone by. Just a day? No, it feels like we've been down here for months. It's been a day. Uh, maybe not months, but at least like 20 days, surely. That's a specific number. Yo, yo. Thought I heard you chatting over here. Aw. Hey, Ryuji. Oh, hey, I mean... no Tucker. <laughs> well, everyone, I just completed another survey of the surrounding area. Still nothing has changed today. Boo! Here, have some water and take a rest. Ah, uh, yeah. 
My phone is my phone is running out of space too. Like I had to get a new special one to play Genjin Thank you, on Shinobu. it. <sighs> it's easy to forget to keep hydrated down here. Oh, it's actually Kira Buckland. It's Ugh, out. I want out. All I want is to cruise the streets and have beetle fights again. Boss, remember there's your image to consider. That's a... Yeah, and uh What's the name's made for what's the maid's name from V3 or er, Dangaroba V3 again? I forgot. But it's so boring. Walking around this hole every day. I, if only I could slurp some ramen and see the beautiful flowers again. Uh-huh. Ramen. Wait a minute. Speaking of ramen, traveler, are you hungry? Oh yeah, and Sayonji too. I forgot she Shinobu's voice actress voices the maid from Dangaroba V3. I forgot her name. She she got axed in the second case. I forgot her name. And not really. I'm not hungry either. But let me pose the question this way. Yeah, Karumi, that's Who her name. The biggest eater among us. The Oni. It's definitely not me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I should... Hey, what's everybody looking at me for? Well, it's definitely not me. If anyone, it's this one right here. Huh? What are you looking at Paimon for? Oh, God. Are we gonna go crazy and start accusing everyone Lord of the Fly style? Paimon, are you hungry? Um, no. Paimon's not hungry. Why do you ask? Tucker on the fire. Huh. <sighs> if that's the case... Huh? What, 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 what am I missing here? Paimon says she feels like it's been at least 20 days. Yes, I heard that too, as I was walking over. The question is, how can you not feel hungry, even after 20 days? What's going on? I'm very confused. And I feel like it's only been about one day. That's also strange. Of course, everyone has different perceptions of the passage of time. But how could one person feel like it's only been one day and someone else 20 days? Oh god, is this like the hyperbolic time chamber from Dragon Ball? Is this what it, that, is this what's going on right now? Huh. Yeah, now that you mention it, I feel like we've been here three, four, five days, but I don't feel hungry or thirsty at all. Weird. Although I cooked some food, it wasn't because I was hungry. I just wanted to keep our spirits up. I was planning on saving our rations so we could survive a few more days. But I haven't really felt hungry since. Huh. Now that I think about it, not only am I not hungry, but I don't feel any real signs of fatigue either. Whether I sleep or not doesn't seem to have any effect on how I feel. <laughs> I don't know yes, either. Yes, I concur. Resting doesn't make me feel more refreshed, and staying awake doesn't make me any more tired. Very peculiar. It's almost as if our physical state has been suspended. Ah, uh, uh, see? The hyperbolic time chamber. The more you say, the scarier it sounds. Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. I wonder if Zhao is experiencing the same phenomenon. Huh? What's wrong, Traveler? Did you think of something? Tell everyone that you were unable to summon Zhao. That's pretty weird. Sounds like the little dude must be in danger. Uh, is but he, he is an adeptus. This kind of situation should be no trouble for him. Yeah. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. I found something, everyone. <laughs> I just discovered a new path over there that seems to lead to an unknown da -da. area. Da -da -da -da. Okay. You mean a way out? Oh, finally! Go have a look. Hey, you found something! Oh, please, please be the exit! Please. I still suspect things can't be that simple. We should all stay prepared for whatever comes. Don't worry, I have a- Huh? Paimon doesn't see anything out of the ordinary here. Good little dude. Appearances can be deceiving. As I was examining the wall just now, I noticed there was something unusual about this stone. Oh, sweet. Sorry. Seems to me that it's been created using some illusory magic. Hidden behind it lies a passageway. Oh, shit. Whoa! So there really is a path behind here! 
Had to hand it to you. That sure wasn't easy to find. But at least we can finally get out of here. Yeah, thanks to Yelan. Miss Yelan's determination and eye for detail are certainly impressive. <laughs> Not to mention, you've hardly had any rest the whole time we've been trapped here. Yep, she been going. It doesn't matter. I'm not tired. <sighs> well, given we're already here, we might as well go in and explore. You're not tired? What's that like? Right behind ya! Paimon can't wait to get out of this place! I haven't been not tired since I was 18. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta see. So that's the uh, thingy. Ooh! Oh, look at them! How cute! They're in I love it! Uh, anyways, stuff I have. Oh, the bow! Huh, interesting. I guess, no, that's ER. Does he really? ER? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hold on. Alright. Sorry about that. Oh. What? Oh. This. Might as well do the- get this. Just, uh... Okay. What? Whoops. Oh, you meant for this? Oh. I didn't even see that. That looks so pretty in this menu. Sorry. I get distracted. Um. Oh, I'm getting. Oh. Uh, hold on. No, that's not... That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh, another one. Alright. Should I bring someone different this time? Or should I... Well, it says the... The audio? Oh, no. Is this like a Lost Woods situation? <laughs> oh god. The symbols of the, of the platform will have different colors and images. Matching them together seems to be the key to solving this puzzle. Holy shit, it's raining outside. Um, If you step on the correct symbol, it will be activated, but you will take damage if you step on the wrong one. Oh, fuck you. Search for <laughs> and activate all the symbols on the platform to solve the puzzle. Oh god. All right. Oh. Electro, hydro, geo, animo. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Whoa. 
Go see. Is that you? Hey, did anyone else just hear that voice? Uh. It super creepy. Uh, oh shit. Um. Do you go back and look at the ones that... Okay, okay, you can. Good, because I was not sure. Okay, so that was that one. You know, I could cheat and... Uh... Oh, are these like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I could cheat and take a picture of my phone, but... I don't think I want to. I want to do this one. Okay, so I got the animal one. Oh, no, I made the, the Geo one. Oh, 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 oh. No. Yes. What? Hit me. Don't fight. Is some sort of battle taking place here? I wonder who could be involved. You touch all the same symbols, like this one? Okay, okay. Oh, there they go. Oh, fuck me. Ow! Jesus! Settle down, asshole. Solidify! Kami Sato Ari. Suiyu! Who wants some of this? Ooh, that scared the crap out of me. Light shapers on the platforms will shine unique beams of light upon the platforms opposite them. Operate the devices to control the position and direction of those beams of light. The light shapers may be used to cast their lights upon the large symbols on the platforms opposite them, thereby activating those symbols. Activating all the large symbols seems to be the key to solving this puzzle. Have to. Oh, see how oh oh gosh okay um I'm guessing you don't touch the the can you touch the the purple ones God I don't like this uh Oh, well, I wasn't sure. You know, you take damage from hitting the wrong symbol, so... Excuse me for being just a little bit cautious. I see, I see. I think. Okay, so. The other one. <laughs> I think I'm a, I like to think I'm a fucking genius, but I'm not. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Aha! I did it! And the, there's the geo symbol. I have a feeling I know what this is about, but I'm not gonna say anything until I know for sure. Uh, back around. And we go to. Did I do the geo? Should I do the hydro or the animal one next? I'm gonna go in a counterclockwise fashion and go hydro next. Oh. 
No. It's still alive. Why would you become like this? I won't attack you. That's a my shoe. Could he be in trouble? Whoa. Sounds like someone forgot to invite us to the fight. Let's go and help him. Yeah, but how are we gonna find him? Oh, uh... The middle one? Or is it this one? Uh... Shit, I forgot what it looked like. Hold on, I gotta go back. So cool, but also weird. Okay. W tridents on top. Okay. Thank God you could go back, otherwise I'm I'd be screwed. Is, is there only always is there always gonna be one of the symbol? Oh no, never mind. Oh. Let's roll. Gather. Be still. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> ah! This is order. Solidify! Barbados, guide us! Attaboy! Yeah! Number nine large. That meme is so ridiculous. All right, that's done. All right, let's see here. Well, this one. <laughs> uh, uh, hold on to just a second. Sorry, my dad locked himself out of the house, so I had to open the door for him. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I'm smart! <laughs> I'm a fucking genius. Okay, this one... I don't... Wait, 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 wait there's more like I gotta have more faith in myself hold on <laughs> yay that's the hydro one down just getting caught on the thing you guys hear me sometimes I gotta ask otherwise I don't know Oh, 
Okay, good. Ah, <laughs> uh, solidify. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna make sure it's just... I know I have genes, but I don't want to take any unnecessary damage. <laughs> oh. That's interesting. Um, oh. Ah! Ah! Stop it! Rude. The greatest. All right, there they are. I know, how dare he? <laughs> Right, last one. <laughs> oh, you know what? This actually looks like Zhao's mask. Now that I'm looking at it, like the little horns and the tusks. That's funny. That symbolizes something. <laughs> it probably does. Um. Oh no! Damn it! <laughs> Solidify. These assholes. Order guide you. Let's go. Who wants some of this? No jump, Hunter. Kami Sato Ami. Suyu, be still. Four of them are lit, lit up. Back to the. Oh, no, never mind. Hey, look, a portal. The light seems to be leading to another platform. Let's go and take a look. Yeah, hey, this place is weird. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. 
There we go. That way. Oh no, I go that way. Right? Uh, I hope I'm going the right way, because I don't know. I don't fucking know. The ground has dissolved? What's down there? Rainbows and butterflies, Pymon. Is that little dude called Shao down there? We gotta help him. Hold on. Something's not right here. What's this? It appears to be a small fissure. What can you possibly find inside? It can't be a living person, can it? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Conqueror of demons? Xiao, is that you? Uh. Oh, and quit trying to scare us, okay? Huh? Wait. Is this some kind of illusion? Paimon can't touch him! Conqueror of Demons, can you hear us? Happened? Are you okay? Hello! Little dude! Anyone home? Little dude. He isn't responding. What's going on here? Oh, shit. You! Oh, he finally said something! Oh! <laughs> you know. We followed your voice and found you here, but it's kind of strange. We can't touch you. How did you become an illusion? <sighs> An illusion? Talk about a coincidence. We were just thinking you went missing and stuff, and then we heard the sound of you fighting. Pretty lucky we found you, if you ask me. <laughs> you didn't get hurt, did you? A coincidence? Wait. Something's not right. <coughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now! Get out of there! Now are you hurt? If he can. We should have him regroup with us as soon as possible. Tell us what happened and where you are now. We'll come find you immediately. No. Your safety is the top priority. It seems this space can... Huh? He disappeared. Okay. Where'd he go? It sounded like he might be injured. We need to go help him. It seems the only option we have to explore any further is through that entrance over there. Nope, oh, time to die. Huh. I mean, uh... He's injured and telling us to be careful? It's not like we're in any danger here. Got a point. I am the greatest. Anyway, the secret behind whatever's going on should be in this cave, right? Don't worry, little dude. Ito's on the way! Oh, Boss, good. please don't go charging ahead. You're an Oni, not some hunting dog. I mean, Onis are pretty powerful. Don't worry! I'm invincible! God. <laughs> Oh, my butt. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks pretty deep. Be careful, everyone. Damn it, Edo. <laughs> Whee! Oh, it's just me. Why am I the only one? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> what do you say, Ido? Well, Bull Tucker, how's your rear? It's fine! God, My butt is tough! <laughs> Go ahead, you can cry if it hurts. I promise I'll try not to laugh. A try. What? what do you mean, try not to laugh? You should be feeling some serious sympathy for me right now. Isn't it always correct, though? But wouldn't feeling sorry for you be a violation of your dignity? Besides, it's harder not to laugh when I'm not the one in pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he poked. she poked him. <laughs> On, don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, everybody. If you want to laugh at him, just let it out. Don't you have a heart, Shinobu? Oh, and people think <laughs> I'm the monster. You are a monster. You're a fucking Oni. Wait a second. <laughs> Shao's not here, but... 
Is that a door? Seems a little out of place here, don't you think? Maybe it's some sort of... Uh, I don't know, an emergency shelter? There was a picture book I read once that said nice people sometimes build cabins in dangerous places so that anyone in trouble can take shelter inside. Our little dude must be inside then. Yeah! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Any person with a normal sense of danger wouldn't be so optimistic. Wow, Bullchucker! Looks like your subordinate is telling you what's what. <laughs> oh, I believe she was talking to both of us. Yeah, so you can wipe that smug smile off your face. All right, watch and learn, Shinobu. This is why I'm the boss and you're the deputy. If no one is macho enough to open the door, then allow me. Step aside. Play. It only end beautifully. Once this door is open, we are out of here. Oh, did he punch it? Oh, no. Yeah, let's press the button. <laughs> Everyone's clapping. I love it. Oh. What? It, it is a shelter. Evaloni, be gone. You heard me. Get out of here. Uh, am I seeing things? Or was there someone behind the door? Oh, there was. Nah, can't be. You're just saying things. Why don't we just open the door again and see? Who? Uh, me? Oh, uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'll open it again. All you do is goof around all day. You're a bad influence to our child. Be gone! <laughs> Those people are carrying bowls. Bowls full of beans. What's that all about? Oh, those were... Oh. People throw beans to drive out Oni. Boss is an Oni, so they throw beans at him to get rid of it. Oh. Weird. Gave me the fright of my life! What are people from Inazuma doing in a place like this anyway? Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> Calm down now. You're a person from Inazuma too, you know. Hey, let's get one thing straight, all right? I'm not a person, I'm an Oni! Right, but that's not the point. The question is, does this door lead to Inazuma? Huh? How could that be possible? Ugh, this place is so weird! Paimon's starting to think it really is haunted! Don't worry, I, I laughed. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> oh no! I love when Shinobu poked him in the ass to, to prove her point. <laughs> you guys go right ahead. I'm not opening it again. So, who's up? Oh, how about Paimon? Why don't you open it? <laughs> no way! Somebody else do it! Paimon's scared! <sighs> Alright, I'll try. That's our Shinobu! Now, don't let whoever's behind that door push you around, okay? Like you All did? Right. Let's see what's behind the door this time. <laughs> I know, he just punched it. Clap, clap, clap. Oh. Still reading, Shinobu. Listen, young lady. You should keep your nose out of those books and start taking my advice. I've already found you a perfectly good job as a shrine maiden at the Grand Narukami Shrine. You'll be far better off there than... <laughs> uh, Shinobu? Who is that? Her mom, right? No way! Was that who I think it was? Oh, this is embarrassing. That voice was my mother. What? This is one place I wasn't counting on having to hear that speech again. <laughs> Your mother wanted you to become a Shrine Maiden? The whole reason I came to study in Liyue was because I didn't want to become a Shrine Maiden. My family never approved of my studies, so they wanted me to work in the Grand Narukami Shrine after I returned to Inazuma. <laughs> yeah. From what we know about Lady Guji, it seems being a Shrine Maiden is a pretty cushy job. 
<laughs> Miko. Nah. Think of it this way. Some cats can be domesticated and kept in the house, while other cats are meant to survive in the wild. As for me, I need complete freedom and space. Although I do admit that being a shrine maiden is a decent job, it's just not for me. Apparently, in her hi her hangout, you see a picture of her when she was training to be a shrine maiden. It's really pretty. That's it's really right. Cute. Your calling is with the gang. I mean, just look at you. You rock. You're totally hardcore. Come on, am I the only one with chills right now? <laughs> it's true. You've got a good thing going. What's most important is that you enjoy what you do. Uh -huh. Gotta agree with you there. From the look of it, what's behind the door can change. And not only that, it always changes to something that nobody wants to see. So, uh, how are we gonna get through that? And don't forget, we have that little dude waiting for us to save him. We need to get our rear in gear. <laughs> Would any of you like to give it a try? Mm, no thanks. I'd prefer not to open it if only something terrible awaits. If anyone's going to find a way through, it's not going to be me. Uh, why? Because I don't buy it, that's why. I don't believe for one second that we're gonna find the Conqueror of Demons by going through that door. So I'm sure as heck not gonna be the one to get us through. Hey, cold blood. Not gonna lie, uh, you don't really sound like you have much of an imagination. All right, I'll try. Yeah, my savior. Show him what you're made of. <laughs> you have any phobias, Yanfei? I'm sure I probably do, but nothing springs to mind right now. Anyway, I suppose I'll find out once I open the door. You old geezer. Out of eight pounds of salt, today you gave away three for free, sold two, and exchanged three for booze. How much money did you actually make in the end? Huh? But didn't you tell me to sell things as I pleased? Why can't I give the customers something for free? You fool! You told the old man next door to come and fetch the salt. Well, he broke his leg on the way over, and now his son is asking for compensation. Seriously. <sighs> Huh. A civil dispute. Didn't see that coming. Oh, right. She hates civil disputes. I forgot. Who are they? <laughs> <sighs> no one in particular, but it is a prime example of the many difficult civil cases that I've had trouble handling before. Yeah, I forgot she hates civil disputes. Mm. So you mean you don't like handling disputes over petty matters? Oops. Not exactly. What I mean is that I don't like working with people who cannot let go of trivial grievances, especially of the kind you saw just now. They start with good intentions, but end up making a big fuss. <coughs> it's not long before those good intentions plunge into injury and accidents. <sighs> it's always a shame. Man, you gotta be a strong person if the one thing you hate are petty squabbles. It's my desire to solve problems for people. That's why I became a legal advisor. It just seems that I still can't fully comprehend the complicated minds of some people. Ah, uh, that's fair. I can't either. Uh, I understand what you mean. The human mind is probably both the most complicated and tragic of things. Been to that. I suppose there is no need to discuss this any further. Does anyone else want to try the door? Oh boy. Don't look at me. I told you, I'm not taking a chance with that thing. Uh, people, pe people, it's people. <laughs> Come on, Yelon, we're a team here. If you're not gonna try, then at least give us a convincing reason why. <sighs> In that case, let me be perfectly clear. I serve Ningguang, the Tianxuan of the Qixing. The scope of my work includes some of Li Wei's biggest secrets. The chances are, if I open this door, there can be no witnesses left alive. Is that a sufficient reason for you? <laughs> she, uh, uh, yes, oh, ma'am. Uh, yeah, yeah, sounds, sounds impressive. Um, hey, Shinobu, uh, who's Ningguang? <laughs> he has to ask who Ningguang is. She's someone who won't let you walk out of the chasm alive if she finds out that you're prying into her secrets. Yeah, she's kind of a boss-ass bitch like that. Boss, you really do need to work on learning who's who in the world these days. 
Look, I knows what I needs to knows. It's called being a free Oni. Why is the S capitalized? Uh, that mine would be telling me I'm worthless and I'm gonna die young and just be lonely for the rest of my life. But joke's on you guys, I'm ready for that. <laughs> yes, which is precisely why I was trying to keep her secret. <laughs> we should avoid letting Yelan open this door. <laughs> I wonder what her secret would be. What about you, Traveler? Would you like to try? Yeah, go for it, Traveler. Besides, you never know who could be behind that door. Maybe it could even be Shell. Oh boy. I say give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe little dude is waiting for us on the other side. Find who we're looking for. Hmm, huh, maybe. I'm always looking for Ew. So, wait. What's Paimon looking at? <gasps> Is this the abyss? Oh, no. Is, is this what I feared? Huh? The exit suddenly disappeared. Is it trying to trap me here? Oh shit. Oh fuck. How do I escape? Oh? Whoa! Hello! Whoa! Oh! I was wondering why the first time it was just me swimming in the water and not my team. Holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, there you are! Ooh, you sure had Paimon scared! We couldn't open the door after you went in! Everyone was super worried about you! Are you okay? Uh, uh... Did you find anything, Traveler? So, did you find the person we want to rescue inside? No. Judging by the look on your face, I'm guessing you saw something a little... unpleasant in there? Yeah, I did. Behind the door I saw... Darkness of the Abyss that took my twin away. Huh? How could that be? Ah, uh, don't worry. Paimon will keep searching for him with you. Cheer up! <laughs> but when are we... <laughs> When will my brother come back from the war? Uh, stupid door, I'll smash you to pieces! <laughs> if Paima wasn't feeling so exhausted, Shut she'd up. help out too. <sighs> hey, what is this? Nap time? Yes. <sighs> yes, it is. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Not only did we not find Xiao through that door, we saw all the things that we wished to avoid. Well, you didn't. I'm starting to have a very ominous feeling about this domain. It's constantly changing, and its changes seem to be targeted at us. Picking on us, the jerk. Huh? What do you mean? How dare it. I feel the same way. We need to watch our every step. There is definitely more to this place than meets the eye. I concur. We came here following the Conqueror of Demons, but we ended up only finding a strange door. The things we've encountered on the other side of that door are equally strange. It shows us whatever we fear the most. We're in a space that defies common logic. I'm confused! <sighs> on top of that, I'm starting to feel tired after that experience. But I thought we'd established that getting tired doesn't happen down here. The phenomenon hasn't reached a lethal stage just yet. Otherwise, we would have starved to death without eating for so long. I'm starting to worry that we're being affected by the changes in this space. In order to avoid the sudden accumulation of hunger and fatigue, we should eat and rest regularly from now on. <sighs> Paimon suddenly feels exhausted. It's really tiring going through all this. Now that you mention it, I'm starting to feel tired too. 
<laughs> no, 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 it's all just an illusion. I will not let my mind play tricks on me. I mean, there's robots at Conria, so yeah. Oh, Paimon's whole body just feels so heavy now. I mean, the whole reason Conria was destroyed was it, it was was that it was getting like technologically advanced, and the gods did not like that. So, hmm. According to the current evidence, it seems our physical condition was suspended in this space before which granted us immunity to the effects of fatigue and hunger. Oh shit, we're all gonna die. And now it seems that mental fatigue is unavoidable. Lordy. Though we have yet to locate the Conqueror of Demons, I suggest we go back and get some rest. It'll be difficult to rescue anyone if we're on the verge of collapse ourselves. She's right. Hey, Lavender Melon. You okay? Want me to carry you? She can float, it's fine. After a pres- and return to the camp for a rest. That is true. Wait, it, it yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. In what way? I had to think about that for a minute. <laughs> Alright, time to talk to everybody again. You haven't slept at all. Are you sure you're okay? This place <laughs> seems even more perilous than we first thought. Don't worry about me. Staying focused under pressure for as long as it takes is my specialty. I mean, do you see this beautiful woman? Now, if I'm not mistaken, looks like you've got some new ideas. <laughs> How could he tell? It's my job to keep tabs on people. I figured as much. They're just preliminary ideas at this point, but I haven't completely thought them through yet. I'll tell you more <laughs> once my ideas have taken shape. Yeah, I I may or may not have introduced him to Beto. Not. <laughs> sure. Sounds good. I also have some ideas of my own. I'll fill you in after I've confirmed some things. <laughs> you guys, please. Like a productive conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? As they say, two heads are always better than one. That's true, but also, three heads are better than two, you know? <laughs> Uzi's still vibing! We've encountered. About the door. Well, I suppose there's no use hiding it anymore now that everyone's seen it. What you all saw really was my biggest fear. <laughs> I never want to become a Shrine Maiden. Who could tolerate such a boring life? After these last few years with the Arataki Gang, I suppose you could say I've seen it all. It's taken every skill in my arsenal to constantly clean up the messes they make. <laughs> Poor Shinobu. But Paimon's right, she's like the real leader, honestly. Though the list of annoying things to deal with is practically endless, I am totally free in the Arataki Gang. Strolling around the streets, roasting lavender melons with friends in the open country. I know it sounds pretty silly, but that's the life that I want. Oh man, that sounds really fun. Just don't laugh at me, okay? Otherwise, you might find yourself on the receiving end of a good beating. You're a healer. How does that work? <laughs> Anyways. Ushi, you sure you can't find a way back to that door again? Uh. Here. Yep, that's the big question. Gotta be honest, I have a no idea. Uh. Uh. Oh, look at him go! He's still vibing all this time. What a Chad. Oh, come on, don't get mad at me. I'm just being real here. <laughs> He's so I did think about just using my own super strength to dig our way out, but the rocks here are even tougher than prison walls. 
She she has the sword of the creator, man. That's what it is. The chonk. Even though the chonk is not is a pig and not a bull. Anyways, the rocks didn't even budge when Ushi charged him. It's pretty obvious this place is meant to keep us in here. Yeah. The only thing I can do now is uh well, take care of this exhausted little lavender melon. Yeah, his cousin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. You're helping too, Ushi. <laughs> oh, it's tied onto him. Okay, that makes sense. I thought it was just placed on him. Like like a house roof. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him go. By the way, Traveler, if you have a moment, could you do me a favor? I'd like to discuss something with you. How are you saying Please, it all the way? Come meet me over there. Oh. Game, this is lower, not higher. Oh, wait, you're not. Yeah, but you're right over here. I'm so confused. Eh, anyways. Oh, that's how it's higher. Okay, <laughs> I was just confused. Thanks for coming to speak with me, Traveler. Yeah, no problem. I've been thinking about this place. Since we still don't know just what kind of danger we're up against, we can't afford to delay any longer. We have to find the Conqueror of Demons as soon as possible. I was like, Don't you think it's a strange coincidence that as soon as you told us about the Conqueror of Demons, we heard his voice in that place? <laughs> Will you marry me, you fucking dumbass? It almost seems deliberate. As if something was trying to convince us that the Conqueror of Demons was there in order to lure us into the unknown. Into the un- okay, sorry. I have a theory, <laughs> but I can't tell the others just yet. I don't want anyone to panic. Judging from the Conqueror of Demons' reactions, I think that he was somewhere else, but his voice and image were projected to our location. Well, no shit. Is it possible that we've entered into a chaotic space? Chaotic? What you talking about, Yanfei? We're seeing things and people that shouldn't be here, even ghosts. And we don't feel hungry because the state of our bodies is suspended. It's as if time itself has stopped for us. Hmm. If that's true, it means we've entered into a place where normal logic doesn't apply. When you put it all together, everything points towards one possibility. Yes. This is a place where time and space are thrown into chaos. So when we saw him at the domain entrance, he didn't really go the same way as us. And yet, if it's truly chaotic... How did we find our friend's voice, even when we had no idea where he was? It doesn't make any sense. Unless the space wanted us to hear it. Which brings me to my next point. I also have a theory about our encounter with the Conqueror of Demons earlier. I submit that we didn't actually see the Conqueror of Demons. He was somewhere else. But his status was transmitted to us through a, some kind of mind-bending spatial alteration. Traveler, you said you saw the abyss in that room, didn't you? At first glance, that door may seem like a prank. It shows you whatever you're afraid of, but if it manages to lure you inside, there's no way of knowing what might be in there. One minute, it's playing a joke to get you to lower your guard. The next, the danger is real, and it's trapped you. She's a, yeah, I mean, there's a reason why she's a lawyer. This space is a powerful opponent. It wants to use our minds against us. But I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Do you remember that small spatial rift next to the dissolving ground? I think so. It felt like spatial magic, but it seemed much more powerful than usual. When we saw that illusion of the Conqueror of Demons, it seemed like he wasn't expecting our spaces to intersect at all, and was even more surprised that we could hear and see him. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that this space purposefully transmitted the Conqueror of Demons' voice to lure us into a trap. But I also think it didn't count on that spatial rift happening. In other words, the fact that we saw and spoke with the Conqueror of Demons was never part of its plan. That's why we were interrupted. Yes. Also, I had a good look around after coming back. I have a feeling that these chaotic spaces are constantly intersecting with each other, meaning that anything is possible. <laughs> I think this gives us an opportunity. If the space creates phenomena meant to deceive us based on our imaginations, then we have to keep imagining, Traveler. If we try to stay calm and listen carefully, 
Maybe, just maybe, we'll hear the Conqueror of Demons' voice again. <sighs> Can you feel that? Let me see. I think it's here. And... break! <sighs> I secretly learned Yelan's illusion-breaking method without her knowing. <laughs> really didn't expect that to work. Oh, wow. The sound came from behind this illusion. Let's go in and take a look. <laughs> Following us. Try to stay calm and listen carefully. Maybe, just maybe, oh, we'll man. hear the Conqueror of Demons' voice again. I love that she's following me. I think that's cool. How am I going backwards? The marker is up there. Elemental sight, but I'm not look I'm not seeing anything. Oh. There it is. this way. Oh, no, no, this is where we came up. I think, so we go this way. Right? It's getting uh, clearer. And that, this is the castle. What did we go through here? <laughs> just in that battle so years ago. What is he doing here? What's going on? The voice is much clearer now. We're close. <coughs> it's a spatial rift. Conqueror of demons, can you hear me? It's Yenfei. The traveler and I are trying to find you. How are you there? Uh, traveler? Yenfei? It worked. Are you okay? I'm fine. Where the sound are you fighting? What happened? Listen to me. It's chaotic here. We may not be in the same space, but sometimes the sound can get through, which means these separate spaces intersect from time to time. Everything is chaotic here. Find a way to get to us. No. The darkness that sullies my soul. It's harmful to mortals. It's, I'm 500 years old. Right Not... now, we have more dangerous things to worry about than that. This space is using our urge to find you to lure us into traps. Without you here with us, our search for you could very well lead us into danger. It's calm. So, you're in danger too? The 
there was no need for you to search for me. Bitch, shut up. But we're worried about you. And earlier, the Traveler was tricked into entering a dangerous place. <sighs> How do we meet? <laughs> Conqueror of Demons, can you find out where our voices are coming from? Find the spot where our voices are the clearest and try... something there. It might work. Oh, the Traveler's in danger. I see. The spaces may intersect amidst the chaos. By try something, do you mean... Hurry! If we miss this chance, we might not get another one. Hmm. Ow. Stand back! Uh-oh. <laughs> uh. Hey. Hey. Lynn. <sighs> oh. Oh, no. Incredibly injured. Oh, Jesus. Let's get him back to the camp. Worlds. Now we can avoid getting split up. It, his cheek. Oh. A lot's happened here, but this wasn't just for our own safety. You're injured. We can't just leave you alone. It's just a flesh wound. It's only I'm a flesh fine. wound. I shouldn't let myself be a burden to you. Hush up. You're not a burden. Don't think that for one second. We need you, all of us. For our sake, please, stay here, please. Fine. As you wish. You're injured. Get some rest. Everything else can wait. Not anything else. <sighs> All right. All right, I guess I'll stay for you. I was close his eyes and seemed to be resting. That astonishing. Yaksha, who never lowers his guard. Oh, yeah, that's happened to me before. I remember I used Zhao and his spear, er, his spear was still doing his, like, dashy dash thing. Oh, I got an achievement. Oh yeah, I was gonna see what that achievement was. Obstacles and meet up with Zhao. Wait, where am I? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. God damn it. <laughs> Here we are. But where are those who share the memory? I don't have one of those at least one stream. It's not a stream of mine. Um. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to see my gem count, sir. Okay, cool. <laughs> to keep track of anything you don't look well i guess things still haven't improved it's okay you don't have to go into all the details <sighs> sometimes i really envy the boss yeah for real he doesn't give a shit about anything hey ushi looks like our little lavender melon has fallen asleep huh do you think she's dreaming <laughs> She looks wiped out. It's kind of hard to see her like this. I mean, most of the time she never shuts up. Aw, poor thing. Aw, 
mosquito. And that little dude looks done in two. Uh, I'm kind of worried about him. You know, it's a good boy. I love him. Oh, I sleep like this when I'm in jail. <laughs> good one. <laughs> I do slumber like a king. Traveler, when did you get here? Always been here. <laughs> oh, Ido, you're a joy. To the, you're a joy to Genshin, the Genshin fandom. Oh, is she up here? Oh, there she is. Hmm. As expected, something strange is going on here. Traveler? Hey. You're both here. Great. I want to talk to you. Let's all talk. We'll put our heads together. You, Yolanda, and Yanfei share all the information you have. I also felt other. that the space was targeting us. But Yanfei managed to exploit its weakness. <laughs> Leave it to Yanfei to find a loophole. Warrior stuff. Based on what just happened, we can now confirm our suspicions that space and time function chaotically here. In addition, we must stay vigilant to avoid the traps set for us by this place. Now that we've found the Conqueror of Demons, the next thing we need to do is find a way out. I went back to the Domain again just now. Although I couldn't find a new route, it wasn't a completely fruitless trip. My clan has practiced magic for generations, and has created some catalysts that only we know how to use. That your di is it like your dice? I recognized something like one of those catalysts in the domain. Unfortunately, it disappeared as soon as I approached it. Was it an illusion? I think so, but it's hard to distinguish between reality and illusion here. I can't be sure. Also. I am the only one out of all of us who could know what it would look like. To me, that confirms that this place really is reading our minds. Just like with that door. It's like it's alive, and testing us. Ew. By reading our minds and showing us what we want, it creates the reality that we want to be true. Everything it does is either to get us to lower our guard, or to wear us down. If that's the case, it can only have one goal. To trap us here until we die. What else could it be? We should prepare for the worst. But we mustn't give up. Yeah, for real. I've always known there were secrets hidden in the chasm. But even the Qixing have never heard about anything like this. Yelon, when we first ran into you, you said you had something to do. What were you referring to? <sighs> I... was looking for the truth behind the monster invasion from Conria. Shit. Please keep everything I'm about to say to yourselves. No one else can know. Otherwise. Yes, yes, you'll kill us. I get it. We got it. 500 years ago, a wave of dark beasts from Conria attacked the Seven Nations of Tevat. Naturally, Liyue was also affected. Under Rex Lapis's command, the Millilith fought hard to hold the front line near the chasm. But these were vicious beasts, and this was the most desperate battle Liyue had ever faced. At a critical moment, someone distracted the monsters and led them away. Just when all hope seemed lost, the tide turned. The true self. The Liyue army eventually won the war. But there were many who never returned. Oh, shit. Two of my ancestors took part in that war. And the one who made it back went insane. Everything about it was strange. The current generation of Qixing knows very little about these events. And very <laughs> few came back from the chasm alive. Finding out the truth has been a waiting game. The day the chasm was unsealed, 
I put in a request to be transferred here, so I could finally learn the truth of what happened back then. But this place we've ended up in, and the possibilities we're facing, it's all far more terrifying than I'd imagined. Who, want, who wants to put in money that she's conrying? in? <sighs> we can't give up. Right now, our number one priority has to be getting out of here alive. Asm, Conria, what happened 500 years ago? What did y'all see back in that other space? Who was he fighting against? Can we really get out of here in one piece? Are you alright? You've suddenly gone quiet. It's not like you at all. <laughs> Shh. We'll talk later. I'm just processing all the existing clues we have. Maybe the key to our escape is hidden in some detail I've overlooked? I have to go over everything again. Ace Attorney uh, intensifies. Alright, well... <laughs> oh, don't worry. I won't write down anything that you told us about. No, I meant if you're going to analyze the facts, count me in. Alright. You don't look well. I guess things still haven't improved. It's okay. You don't have to go into all the details. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I really envy the boss. Hey, Ushi. Looks like our little lavender melon has fallen. Man, yeah, she looks wiped around. out. It's kind of hard to. Man, that little dude looks. <coughs> <coughs> we let Ushi's voice lines go because we stand Ushi in this house. Oh, I sleep like this when I'm in jail. <laughs> Traveler, when did you get here? Yao's eyes are tightly shut, and he's not making a sound. No one has the heart to interrupt him. Oh, <laughs> Poor Zhao. <laughs> Morning, sunshine. Wait! Where are we? <laughs> hey! We're still underground. Paimon, are you feeling better? Yep, way better! Paimon just got a little fright because she's never seen a crazy place like this before. Who would have thought the best guide in all of Tibet could end up so out of their depth? Fear <laughs> and er, fatigue and fatir. Oh boy, fatigue and fear are normal. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Paimon just had the weirdest dream. There were cattle mooing constantly. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's me, says Ushi. Yeah, just like this. He's still vibing. Look at him go. How is he not tired? Look at him. Shaking his little butt. Aw, Ushi, were you looking after Paimon? Ushi, best boy. Mm. <laughs> Amphi, what are you doing? <sighs> Traveler, it looks like the Conqueror of Demons is awake. How does he sleep like that? It, that could not be good for your posture, my guy. I mean, really? How do you feel? I'm fine. Don't worry. Yushi. <laughs> Flip to get two places. The karma I carry is dangerous to humans. Keep your distance. Well, I have Adepti blood in me, so I wouldn't worry too much. Even so. What happened while Paimon was sleeping? How did Xiao get here? With a little help, I was able to find my way here. All thanks to Yanfei. Conqueror of Demons, could you tell us what happened before he joined us? No need to be so formal. Just call me Xiao. Oh, sure. <sighs> it was a senseless battle. I came here looking for someone, but when I found them, 
They weren't anything like how I expected. Madam Ping says that you usually base yourself at Wang Shuin to guard the main road through Dihua Marsh. It's unusual for you to go looking for someone yourself. Are they an adeptus? <sighs> I'm looking for a Yaksha called Bosatius. I've heard that name somewhere before. Bosatius? Is that one of the five Yakshas? Like you? I thought that you were the only one left. Aren't the other four... gone from the world? That the Electro Yaksha? You could say that. But Bosatius' body is the only one that was never found. It is! It is the Electro Yaksha! Yakshas deal with God's remains all the time. And we become tainted by karma. Over time, it inevitably drives us to madness. The last time I saw Bosatius, it was the day he lost his mind. He left. No one knew where he went, and I never heard from him again. But Bosatius was the eldest of us. He once told us, as Yakshas we will experience countless wars. Whether we live or die, we must promise to take care of each other, and know each other's fate to the very end. Oh, Did he forget his promise because he lost his sanity? It's possible, but I did not. I am the sole survivor. So it is my duty to find out the fates of the others. What made you come to the chasm? Did you hear something about Bosatius being here? Did you know that 500 years ago, the beasts of Conria invaded the chasm? I've heard a thing or two. That war lasted a long time. It is said that in the midst of the battle, a brave Yaksha was seen putting up a heroic fight. But no one knew the Yaksha's name. But there were many more than five Yakshas in total, so there's no guarantee it was Bosatius. Wow. But you must think it was probably him if you came here to investigate, right? I am by no means certain. And I didn't have any other clues except for this one. But Bosatius was proud. If he had taken part in that war, he would have announced his name. So at first, I thought the nameless Yaksha couldn't be him. Down Bosatius? <laughs> Wait. So it was Bosatius you were fighting with? Did he injure you? Yes. Oh shit. No way! The invasion of monsters from Conria, the battle in the chasm, and Yelan's ancestor. I have a feeling that somehow, these are all connected. Life is full of coincidences, but this is too much of a coincidence. Could this all be related to the fantastic compass mentioned in the will, too? What will? Oh, right. I came here because of a will. Maybe it's not something you've come across much before, but both mortals and adepti sometimes write out their final wishes so somebody else will carry them out after they've passed. It's known as a last will and testament. And this can be done at any time? Whoa, whoa! You wanna write a will? Now? No, thank you. Don't do <sighs> that. It was no accident that you saw my illusion that day. This place used your desire to find me to create a trap that you would willingly walk into. Pure deception is easy to spot, but the truth laced with lies can be a fatal combination. What you heard were really things that I said. It made sure you heard my real voice to create panic. This one-way communication was the bait. If we hadn't managed to get in touch through the spatial rift, we may well have lost someone by now. Rather than murdering in cold blood, this space seems more intent on consuming souls. No, oh, perish. Don't. Don't say that. How is this even possible? Our opponent is very clever. It is not safe to stay here. Everyone, whether I accomplish what I came here to do or not, I must find a way to get you out safely. Christ. This is so weird. Hmm. Uh, ma'am? 
Oh, there's a braid in her hair. I rejoin to warn you that it's extremely dangerous here. If you stay here too long, this space may well devour you. But how do you know? Happen what happens if we get devoured? You might become a shadow of your former self, wandering the underground like a lost soul. Oh shit. Hmm. Sounds like you saw them too. Yelon, you're back. I've been back a while. I was listening to the conversation. You know, like a liar, uh. I've seen some strange things here too. Objects that shouldn't be here. Strange figures appearing, then vanishing. I don't think any of it is real. So they're just illusions? At first I had the same thought. But it's not that simple. There may come a day when these illusions become real and attack you. From what you were saying a moment ago, it sounds like you know a way out of here. I can't say for sure. It's just a guess. As Yanfei said, this space is chaotic and unstable. But it has its weaknesses. By attacking the point where both spaces connect, I was able to create a rift and move from one to the other. Huh. So, if I use all the energy I have, I may be able to tear a passage out of this chaotic space. Boy. Really? So powerful attacks can affect the space itself. I had wondered if that was a possibility. Whoa, 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 whoa. But what do you mean by all the energy you have? I mean, it will take everything I've got. Wait a minute! When you said you were gonna get us out safely, you mean you're gonna stay here? You can't be serious. <sighs> I saw Bosatius underground. That's when I realized the horror of this place. A single blast can only create a very small opening. To send you back to the outside world, I may need to continuously channel power in order to keep the tunnel open. I know how to fight to the bitter end. I can do this. The energy you have, you'll... No. No way. Even if what you're saying is true, I can't agree to this. It's not much of an escape plan if we gotta leave someone behind! Together. It's only a good or bad plan if there are other options to compare it to. But that's not the situation we're in right now. I doubt you'd still be stuck here if anyone had a better idea. B but can you be certain that your plan will work? I cannot. What is wrong with you? You can't bet your life on something if you don't even know it's gonna work! It's not worth uh, it! Jesus Christ. To conclude, I'm not agreeing to this plan. Rest my case, Your Honor. What if I told you... This is my last will? Uh... <sighs> you? That's your strategy, huh? No offense, but we have no guarantee this plan of yours will succeed. Or even that it's safe. You said it yourself. Yakshas pose a danger to humans. You really expect us to accept your self-righteous plan just because you say so? The battlefield is a treacherous place. Every opportunity you take, you put everything on the line for. If you fear sacrifice and failure, you can never be victorious. Uh, I don't know what's I've going been on. I've my fair share of treacherous battles. So I know full well that you never bring up extreme measures like this until the very, very end. God, she is such a badass. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus you Christ. say these things in the hope that we will understand and accept them. But if you don't even know that your self-sacrifice is going to pay off, all you're doing is hurting morale. Besides, if you were really so determined to end it all, you wouldn't have given us the opportunity to share our opinions. You think you're oh so cold and ruthless, but I'm not buying it. And anyway, losing one of us so the rest can escape? <laughs> Some victory that is. Yelon, don't be so harsh. 
point is, it's not time for drastic measures yet. It's possible there's a hidden passage leading to the exit that we just haven't discovered. <laughs> what if there isn't? Or if we don't find it? And in the end, I'm so weak that I don't have the strength left to sacrifice myself. What do you propose we do then? Uh, not sacrifice yourself, please? As things stand, there's no difference between sacrificing you and trying to find another way out, in terms of the likelihood of success. If we can't say that one strategy is better than the other, we certainly shouldn't be rushing into a risky course of action. Atmosphere is so tense. What should I do? Did someone say a strong enough strike can break us out of this place? Yeah, that's right. I heard ya. No one's staying behind to let anyone else out, all right? Enough talk. It's time for action! Yeah, you tell him, Ito. <laughs> Come on, whatever you are! Let's see how long you manage to keep us trapped in here after I'm finished with you! I guess. Uh, easy now. Oh boy. Ito, what are you doing? Have a taste of this! Oh! Yeah! Oh. Hey, he did it. Uh, uh, whew, okay, so I didn't tear the whole place down. <coughs> but check it out, new path. <laughs> if you need a hero, I'm the man for the job. Uh, should have seen this coming. Oh shit! What happened? Did he tire himself out? Uh, why do you always have to do things like this? Shinobu? What happened to Ito? Did he pass out? <laughs> the boss used up all his strength in one punch. Maybe that's the reason he managed to tear open a passage. <laughs> one Punch Man! Did they make a One point Punch Man reference because Max voices Saitama? Is that what they just did? Fuck, okay. Let me see if there's any way I can stabilize it. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. I can't believe they did that in my Christian Genshin Impact. He did this because he heard us arguing, right? <sighs> the thing with Boss is, he just can't stand conflict between teammates. Aww. Whenever we get into an argument in the Arataki gang, he always goes and does something shocking to calm everyone down. Aww. I love Ito. <sighs> Today, he's done it again. He may not have known you for very long, but when he said he sees everyone as part of the same team, he truly means that. My god, he's so good! No. Another thing with bosses, he hates it when other people sacrifice themselves, but he always seems to end up doing it himself. That said, there's a slight distinction to be made with him. It was just like his story quest with Takia. When he does things like this, he doesn't really think he's sacrificing himself, because he genuinely believes that he's strong enough to defeat any obstacle he's facing. Giant eagle alert! And wasn't he just doing the same thing Xiao suggested? <sighs> so stupid. Why didn't you try and stop him? The boss is hardly open to persuasion. Besides, he always acts without thinking. There's no doubt that he really thought he was about to solve everything in one hit. Uh -huh. uh, it's not just him either. The other guys in the Arataki gang are more or less the same. That's why they need someone like me to clean up after them. I couldn't stop him if I tried, so I might as well just let him do his thing. Besides, often his harebrained intuition is surprisingly on point. We might punch our way out of here yet. Uh... Ito, please tell Paimon you're okay. I'm sorry. Don't be. You have nothing to apologize for. Both you and Yelan made some very good points. Mm. Still, if this was an Arataki gang issue and you were one of our members, I have to say I'd side with Yelan on this one. The boss definitely wasn't sacrificing himself. He firmly believed that we'd be able to find a way out through the passage he opened up, and he's certainly not expecting to be left behind. Everyone's important. 
We have to support each other if we're going to get out of here. Your survival is of huge importance to some people. Uh, no, to a whole lot of people. Aww, Shinobu. Yeah, Zhao. Fucking idiot. Everyone, let's all do our best to try and find a way out. There's still a chance. I'm sure we can escape. Yeah, people care about you, Zhao. Fuck. Leave the boss to me. Don't worry. <sighs> Everyone, it seems this passage doesn't lead to the outside world, but deeper inside. What the? So Ito's efforts were in vain? No, it's still worth exploring. I'll go and take a look first. Aha, uh -huh, I see. I'm with you. Uh, what? So far, I still haven't found the thing I came looking for. That magical device, remember? If this domain has the power to project our imaginations or the things we're searching for into reality, well, maybe I can use that to my advantage to track it down. Oh, right! No wonder she keeps telling us to keep going. If it's a magical device, it must be super powerful. Well, okay. I can't guarantee that, but it's worth a try. I will find a way. Wait. Let him go. But if you're planning on going into that domain too, then come with me. After all, I'm <sighs> just a lawyer. <laughs> we'll be safer if we team up. By the way, um, you and Xiao seem pretty close, huh? Yelong got a bit worked up just now, so I just wanted to apologize on her behalf. I have to I... say, though, if Yelong hadn't spoken out like she did, I'm not sure she would have gotten through to him. Also, self-sacrifice is something Yelon feels strongly about. She tried to stop whoever it was. From what I know, she's lost comrades in the line of duty before, and then was rescued herself. Maybe being a survivor is what makes her so against seeing other people sacrifice themselves. How can things ever be the same again, knowing that your life was saved when others weren't? In a way... Salvation can also be a burden. If I were her, I'm not sure I would have done anything different. Oh, wait, one second. I'll be right there. Yeah! Oh. <sighs> right, that's much safer. Since Ito can't fight right now, I've cast a spell to protect you guys. Thank you, Senpai. Please, be careful. We will. Same to you. All right, Traveler, let's go. Cool. Don't worry. Ushi and I know how to take care of the boss. I think I can speak for both of us in saying it's not our first rodeo. <coughs> Ushi and BP. Go on. Get out of here. And be careful. Okay. Of course, Ido would just, you know, that. <laughs> oh, after rendezvous. Let's do it. Last thing. Last domain. Let's see what we got. I chomp on my french fries. Oh my god, I'm just, don't, I'm very confused. What's this? Huh? Look at that huge disc in the distance. Hold on. Wow. Is that the fantastic compass? Bigger than all our heads combined. What? That's the best description you can come up with? It's way, way bigger than that! 
shut up. <sighs> well, it seems our theory checked out. In my humble legal opinion, that's almost certainly the magical device I've been looking for. It really showed up. How are you gonna lug this all the way back to the harbor? But if this really is the fantastic compass, it's so huge. <laughs> How the heck am I gonna lug that back to my office? <laughs> That's what I just said! How are you gonna take it back? Oh my god. <clears throat> I mean, come on, Yenfei. Don't give up now. <laughs> Let's investigate the area first. That was funny. I... <laughs> oh my god. What treasure the... Treasure hoarders. Are they... Are they treasure hoarders? What are treasure hoarders doing they here? They look familiar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rapscallions. I bumped into these Rapscallions a few days ago. Alright, time to beat up some bad guys. Oh! Uh, oh, my hammer. oh no, I don't know how to play Yanfei. Oh god. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Motion to compel. Yes! Oh yeah, four star Clay, I forgot. Bonk. Motion to compel. Easy. Just like last time. I was like, oh god, I don't know how to play Yanfei. Oh no, oh no, oh you no. Know, when I ran into them before, I was working on a big commercial case. The defendant hired them to attack me, just to get back at me. Being a legal advisor sounds tough. Eh, happens all the time. Luckily, I'm well trained in martial arts, so taking them down was a piece of cake. Easy peasy. But these are the exact same guys as I met last time. Is... This space recreating scenes from my memory? Maybe this is one of the ways our adversary intends to devour us. Unbelievable. What a jerk. Uh, oh. Uh, wait, I saw something while I was fighting those guys. Oh yeah, over here. Bayonetta, those uh, time thingies. Uh, am I supposed to go down somewhere? No. I'm not able to go off the edge. On the right? Oh, the thing the treasure hoarders were looking at? Okay. There's a smaller disc here. Judging from the appearance and design, hmm. 
In all likelihood, this is the Fantastic Compass. Why is there a small version of the Fantastic Compass stuck in the ground? What's it for? Huh? A new entrance. Great! Break the tree? In here? Oh. Okay. Huh. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought we might run into some other people here, but apparently not. Okay, what's that sound? The oh fatui? god, the fatui. Whose memory is this? Could be mine, because I was fighting some earlier. Uh, watch out! <laughs> Just as I thought. Oh, hey. We... Kalon, you're here! I will take you down no matter how many times you show up. Hey, relax. We're together now. Oh, shit. Let's beat some ass. But two we assholes. Oh, cool. We're working together. Yeah. Yeah. Frost. Quietly now. Freshness preserved. Kill to the bone. No. But my defense was water tight. Oh Jesus! No problem. You get Busted. Gangs up! Oh, no. An unfortunate fault! I mustn't give up. I can't. Out of here. I will recall. So. In the vent. Compass. That's just. Oh. I'm so tired. Now escape! Oh, Jesus. Quietly now. Oh, Things are about to get dicey. You can't Woo. run from dead. Oh. Amateurs. And still they dare to come after me. You've still got it. A voice just Remember now. how I said I'd seen some illusions myself? Those were the same words I heard last time. The space seems to be reproducing that memory. Oh. Now that you know, at least we're all on the same page. Weird. He said the word fantastic. Was he talking about the fantastic compass? Yenfei, see that thing on the ground? Yeah, we tinkered with it. That's how we met up with you. I guess it's a miniature version of the Fantastic Compass in the distance. It has a close connection to the entire space. Hmm. It looks somewhat familiar. Let me think. Rotate the needles on the Fantastic Compass to different points to change the time in this area and jump to different times. Your actions in a certain previous point may ti in time may affect the next point in time you jump to. God, okay. Oh. Um. Okay, okay. So. I have kind of a confession to make. Um. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hate me so much for this. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh. Wait, the tree? Oh! And then. 
Um. Oh, so go backwards? Um, I kinda... Oh, wait. Take the needle forward? Okay, so... Yeah! <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I do. I thought she, she, uh, I, <laughs> she was, she's actually more fun than I thought she was going to be. I kind of want her. Is that, is, is that bad? Oh shit. I mean, I have over 10,000 gems. Oh god, what's going on in here? So I could try at least once. <sighs> Another new space. You, you kind of are, yeah. <laughs> within this space follows the same rules, there must be another small fantastic compass somewhere around here. Osatius, I can't believe someone like you would end up as a lost soul underground. Hey, it's the Jade Spear. Oh, hi, Zhao. No enemies. Hold on. Wait, is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no, we should go help him. Stay back. Uh-oh. This is my fight. Do not come near me. Ooh, do I get to play Zhao? Yeah, I do. Oh, oh shit. What the monsters. So many people have died at your hands. I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. Hiding ah. and ambushing from the dark is Bosatius' signature tactic. Die here with me. Huh? Ugh. How did a valiant warrior like you die here? Oh, fucking. Uh oh. This is not going well for Xiao. No matter. I know how this Ow. ends. Oh, Jesus. Lament! Look! Osatius is showing signs of fatigue! Osatius! Marshal Retress! Even your strength is finite! But your illusion is not as mighty as you! This is not you in all your glory! I wonder what Rex Lapis would think if he saw what had become of the first Yaksha! Leave! I'll deal with the rest! We can't let the monsters get to the surface! Everyone, remember! We must hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs! Oh, I got him. Oh, jeez. Enough! Phantom! Be gone! <laughs> This is my purpose. Don't worry about me. So your invisible opponent was the legendary Bosatius, Marshal Vitris? Yes. Oh, shit. So excuse my stubbornness. Bosatius has been missing for centuries. This may have been the last time I will ever see him. He was saying something about... Holding the line at all costs. He fought here. The nameless Yaksha from the legends. It was him. But didn't you say he'd always announce his name? How could his name be lost to time? What happened? Uh, hey, don't make me cry like that. Don't say that, please. <sighs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Maybe he forgot who he was. 
Yeah, when he went crazy. Because the karma you spoke of drove yeah. him to madness? Shit, son. Lucetius had already gone mad before he disappeared. There was no way of knowing if his memories were intact. He still took part in the Battle of the Chasm despite having gone mad? That's some dedication, dude. We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peacetime. It's likely that he was drawn by the scent of bloody war. Slaughter is what we do best. Maybe it's the only thing we know. This battle confirmed my suspicions. As we had speculated, this space reflects information from people's minds. In other words, despite going mad, Bosatius came here. The illusion we saw just now is the impression he left behind. This space recreated him as he was during the battle. The way he fought was so self-destructive. He couldn't possibly have survived. Well, it's weird and... I'm just... Ugh. At least we're getting backstory on the Yaksha that still... that ran off. Yeah, that too. <laughs> he fought the monsters. Osatius' illusion said he discovered the monster's weakness and lured them underground. Oh, and I also came to the conclusion that I want Yelanya. <laughs> yep. What kind of place could this be? Defeating Conria's monsters is no small feat, that's for sure. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I played as her for a little bit, and I'm like... I... 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 I <sighs> Shut up! <laughs> Look, I was not really for it at first, but then I was like, wait a minute, she's actually really fun to play. Guys, it could just be me, but... I think I'm suddenly feeling more tired than I was. This space is really starting to affect us. I believe Bosatia stayed here underground. But now he is gone, and only his illusion remains. If we don't leave, we may meet the same fate. Let's go. Time to move on. You yeah. fought well, Bosatius. Goodbye. Aww. At least I already have Zhao, so I don't have to worry about that. Ugh, fuck. What? Oh. You want me to pull now, or what? I can't. Okay. Okay, so, wait, where is the thingy? Oh! You mean in here? Oh, cause the- okay. <laughs> you want me to pull now? Uh... Or should I wait till the end? <laughs> I kind of want to pull now, but I'll wait. I'll be a patient relic. Right? <sighs> oh. <sighs> yeah, I'll wait till the end. <sighs> so go... Go back? Honestly, same. So go back. Is that where... Look back. Destroy this? Oh, open this you mean? Behind me? You mean this thing? Or up here? Oh. <laughs> To destroy it? Is that... Where is the... I'm very- I'm not good with directions, as you guys can probably tell. Um... Oh. Oh, wow, we're in the chasm. Okay, I'm sorry. T okay, tell me where to go. I'll, I'll, I'll hold still. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go.
go into the next aisle. There's still soup. <laughs> Sorry. I'm at soup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I just realized we're like in the chasm as it's being like m made and everything. That's so cool. I'm at the soup store. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> Wait, what do I do? I'm so confused. And I can't destroy the cart. Oh god. Now do I go forward? Okay. Okay. Oh no. Like this? Oh god. Like the cage? Oh hey. Oh there it is. Fuck you. Okay, and then I go forward. Or do I go back? I don't know where anything is anymore. I'm just gonna assume that's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, wait, actually, uh... Oh god, uh... Oh! Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh god! Okay... Can I even... I don't think I can go more. I. Oh, this is just. just uh... <laughs> I just assume. Yeah. Okay. Where do you want to go next? Okay. If you'd like to see Liu as <laughs> now is not the time, sir. I love I you, but oh, please. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, I think this is where we're supposed to- Don't- Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, yep, here we are. <laughs> Looks like there's some information here. Shall oh my god. That was way more tedious than it needed to be. Okay, let's see. Okay. Letter 4. We have no idea how long it's been since we came out with our comrades on patrol. But according to the information we've garnered, the beasts have completely lost all mobility. Indeed, most of them have disappeared. We, were, we are victorious, and what a grand victory it is, save that we can never return, again return home. Hulan's daughter will turn two this year, and Sh and Xingming's grandmother is getting long in the tooth. The two of them miss their family sorely, though I myself have no relations. No, or <laughs> no one, or er, no one does not wish to return home. But for those of us who are here, we are the only kin we have now. This place is very mysterious indeed. I do not know if it is because we miss home or because this place was always like this, but when we were on patrol here, we could see the sights that we could only see back home. I used to hear of the old folks say that Liu was had, had hundreds of years of history when it comes to mining in the mountains, but this doesn't look like any, any mine. Perhaps this might all be my imagination with what with missing my childhood home back in the mining settlement. How I wish I could go back there. Hmm. It looks like these were letters written by the Millilith soldiers who stayed here. So, who's this Boyong they mentioned? 
Boyang was one of my ancestors. The one who didn't make it back. You mean Boyang fought alongside Bosatius? Oops, I dropped my phone. That's not <laughs> Okay, sorry. I believe so. And the Millilith soldiers were their brothers in arms. I guess now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone that went missing ended up. Yes. Uh, so scary. What happened? Come on, let's not stay here. I have a gut feeling that sooner or later we'll connect all the dots. And then, we'll finally know the truth. Still, who knows how this space is planning on revealing the answer to us. Okay, now what do I do? Do I just go in? Or do I ro rotate? I don't know how you guys would have figured this out on your own. How you guys figured this out on your own, I mean. I would just be here for like two hours and then get frustrated and stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think we go to the bottom one, right? Yeah. Oh. Shit. Uh, well. <sighs> I'm too impatient for trial and error, man. <laughs> okay, so, um... Not this way. I don't know if this is the right one, but I'm... I'm just waiting to one day fall off the side of the... Telling all my friends that like maybe I do want Yolan actually. <laughs> oh god. Um This was it, was it? Yellow portal? Oh, whoops, then I need to go back. Red. 
This red, you, this one you mean? I am the worst. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay, sorry. Um, then now I just go through, or? Okay, forward or back? That's... Not that. Oh. There we go. I think that's it. Uh-oh. Creepy space. It has the feel of the abyss. But where are the opponents? Hmm. Uh oh. This is my memory. Your memory? Of what? Of emptiness. That's the power of the abyss. The abyss? So. This place is created purely based on your memory? I'm afraid so, because I will always remember that the Abyss took my twin away. Oh god, it's just me again. The Abyss, it's always bad news. The purpose of my journey is to find you. I will keep going and imagine a better tomorrow it's with you. It's getting darker. Okay, I have to get everyone out of here. I'll find a way to survive this. Then find the lost treasure. Treasure? Oh it's, shit. It's Ether, wait. Oh fuck. Huh? What's the shiny round thing on the ground? It's like the fantastic compass. Yeah. In the other spaces, the fantastic compass was always partially buried in the ground. But this one is lying flat, intact, as if somebody left it here. Oh, he was just a figment of your imagination? So, he appeared as an illusion because you miss him so much, huh? I can sense that he's not here. At least we found this. Hmm. Man. Yenfei. Are you sure this is the fantastic compass you're looking for? I think so. There were no pictures in the will, but based on the description, it seems to check out. Yelon? What is it? From the design and build, this fantastic compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. I just need to do this, and... <laughs> Someone's used this before. There may be a hidden message inside. 
Let's get out of here and find somewhere safer. Getting freaked out. Ah, uh, shit. Oh. All right. Here we'll be fine. Take a moment to catch your breath while I try to unlock the fantastic compass. No one's saying there are chest opening lines. Well, well. This is not what I was expecting. It looks like an alchemy thingy. Oh, seems like you've made a new discovery. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, wait, I gotta get up. Uh, no, but I'll improvise. <laughs> Note 1. My name is Boyang. Here I leave the record of all I know for future generations to see and learn from my experiences. Note 2. My comrades and myself were ordered by the Chising to take the fantastic compass to the chasm and assist our Milolith champions. But the beasts in this place were incredibly terrifying and our forces suffered terrible losses. If not for the aid of the Yaksha, I fear that my brother and I might have been slain right there and then. Note 3. The ya this Yaksha has four hands and behaves in a maddened fa fashion even being unable to remember his own name. When in a crazed state, he refers to others around him as Alitus El El and Minogius. He has mastery over the thunder, and his form is awe-inspiring. It is! He is the Electro Yaksha! I knew it! One that is destined to re be remembered throughout history. We followed him into battle against the Wicked Beasts for ten odd days, finally breaking out. Okay. But you're not gonna see me pull? Note 4. A snake has its weakness eat 7 inches below the head, and this mon and these monsters naturally have their weaknesses as well. I would... <coughs> yeah, I, I remember that. <coughs> Excuse me. Having discovered this, the Yaksha has decided on a battle plan to target the weakness. In our previous battle, the surface of the chasm was damaged, revealing a great and en enigmatic underground place in the bowels of the earth. We observed that the monsters would grow weak when approaching this domain, so we guessed that there is some power that there that greatly suppresses these beasts of Conria. Note 5. We have suffered too many losses. We must end this quickly. Rong Zhao and I have agreed that I would take the fantastic compass and lead a group of Melilith to follow the auction down into the underground place, or palace. We will lure the beasts away and herd them to, into the depths of the palace. The seal must be completed by myself and the Yaksha within that place, with Rong Zhao aiding us from the outside. That way, we can ensure that the seal will hold. If this works, the chasm front will be secured. However, this means that I, the Yaksha, and the Milolith will, with us will be left behind within the underground palace. Yet, the benefits are too great. We have to try this out. Note 6. The warriors have observed day and night and have confirmed that the beasts are heavily limited once they enter the underground palace, almost as if some power is eating away at them. Some of our wounded have sacrificed themselves and others have split off from the main party in their confusion never to return. Will the monsters really be vanquished in this way? Note 7. The unmatched strangest of the underground palace is something I fear only I and the Yaksha still live to witness. I do not know how much time has passed. The Yaksha is gravely wounded and maddened. I fear he will not live long. As for me, though, I remain clear-headed. I can feel Fey mood settling in, or setting in. I do not know how long I've been here. The Yaksha urges me to depart, forgetting that staying here w was the fate we chose. Note 8. The underground palace is almost like a living being. When a breach first appeared in the ground, we leapt down below and gave battle. But even then, I noticed that the breach was qu quietly closing. I'm not sure if this was the only tactic we would have chosen, or we could have chosen. Jeez, I can't read. And even when we attack the rest, the rent open spaces slowly regenerate. Well, that's the only regenerate 
or well they only regenerate slowly sometimes other times they can be swift it is hard to say does this mean that when we damage the ground in the fighting we damage the outer shell of this space have we accidentally entered the belly of some mighty leviathan only to be slowly devoured by it note nine i believe that this should be the end of those wicked beasts we have outlasted them all i have tried many paths there's no way out the yaksha has fallen only i remain i see my family my wife my children they approach me and then they pass through I must be going mad. How else could I be seeing my family who are in Liwa Harbor? I wish I could go home, but can I? No ten. Rong Zhao, sometimes I curse the fact that it was not you who had to undergo this torture. But Rong Zhao, as your elder brother, I'm glad that you survived. So tired. I can't think straight. This information was left by a thaumaturge called Boyang, who, as you know, is the missing ancestor that I came here to investigate. Yeah. All this information... it was left by your ancestor? Hundreds of years ago, two of my ancestors, brothers, were gifted the Fantastic Compass by someone of great importance. They brought this device to the chasm and joined the war against the monsters of Conria. They set out together, but only one of them made it back. Minus his sanity. Karma. Oh, uh. Correct. One possibility is that when they fought alongside Bosatius, they were tainted by his karma. Neither of them had visions, so they wouldn't have been able to resist its effects for very long. From reading through this, it sounds like Boyang ended up staying here for good, too. <clears throat> well, this is just wonderful. <coughs> So, that's it. There's no way out. What do we do? Are we gonna die here? Makaima doesn't wanna die! What's gonna happen? Hyman's had enough of this place! Let me out! Uh-oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> L.A. Noir. I got it! I just had a thought. Give me a second, I just need to double check. <laughs> a little lawyer book. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, quite, indubitably. Traveler, I just realized something. Okay, so on my way here, I was studying the will the whole time. But I didn't give any thought to the book that the will was inside of. I don't know it verbatim, but I have read it before. The gist of the story goes like this. Millennia ago, an Adeptus made a magic device to seal away evil monsters. Later, he made good friends with a human and gave the device to him to use as a catalyst. A few years later, great demons haunted the mountains. The mortal and the Adeptus joined forces to exorcise them using the same device. And that's not all. The book also says this. When mortal and Adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. This contraption is proof that mortals and Adepti may coexist. That there is unity between heaven and humanity. Oh, shit. I think I know what we're I gonna do. I have both Adepti and human lineage. Maybe my power can work. Oh, hey. It worked. I mean, the effect only lasted an instant because I'm not strong enough. But still, we must be on the right track. And look, something seems to have been activated inside the Fantastic Compass. By heaven's might and the gods of the five regions, Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand. That's their voices from when they made the seal. Bosatius and my ancestor. They sealed off this space at the top together. Hmm. I see. It makes sense now. Hold on, that huge crystal I saw in the bottom of the chasm. I remember when the crystal hit the Ruined Serpent, there seemed to be an opposing force. Was it that opposing force that delayed the awakening of the space that has now swallowed us? Or did the impact weaken the entrance on the ground? 
Also, we haven't seen any Abyss monsters in here. Could this all be connected? Everyone, let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu. I have a suggestion to make. I can barely move anymore. Oh, why can't we get out of here? Paimon doesn't want to die. Paimon wants to stay with you. Paimon, just hang in there, okay? Trust me, there's still hope. Let's go. Are we, like, gonna combine our powers with Zhao or something? I think we're almost done, aren't we? Oh, look at Ushi still vibing! Love that for him. Shinobu, Ito, we're back! How's Ito he doing? He must be exhausted, because he still hasn't woken up yet. But he's not in any serious danger, so don't worry. How can he sleep? How can anyone sleep like that? What about you guys? You found something, didn't you? It's written on your faces. But whatever it is, it's bad news, isn't it? Um... We found the fantastic compass. The previous owner left a message inside, and from the looks of it, there really is no way out of this space after all. It seems like the previous owner was stuck here forever, too. God. <sighs> Shoot! I mean, yeah, but even when I've been super tired, I don't lean up against a rock. Well, This yeah. isn't over yet. Listen to me. Just now, I tried channeling my power into the Fantastic Compass, and it responded. But all that did was activate the records from when the seal was created. Right, but the issue wasn't with the compass. It was with the method. Remember what the book says? When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. Only when a mortal and an adeptus combine their powers can the fantastic compass be fully activated. <laughs> yeah. I'm a mix of human and adeptus. So the fact that the Fantastic Compass responded to me shows that the system is still functional. Oh. Lucky for us, we also happen to have a full Adeptus and a human with training in the magic arts. The both of them. Interesting. So that's what was going through your head. So Zhao and Yolan need to cooperate? So an Adeptus and a human need to channel their power at the same time? I guess I'm not human. Yes, if my guess is correct, then when both of you put your full power into the Fantastic Compass, we should be able to completely reactivate it. Maybe even reverse it. God. Last time, it was used to seal the intersection between this place and the chasm. If we can reverse it, then we're home free. I see. Awesome. So there's still hope? You bet. <sighs> your idea seems reasonable. Well, I mean, yeah. We can channel the elements. Isn't that magic? Okay. Well, let's all take a quick break. We'll give this thing a try once we're ready. Oh, boy. Here we go. I'm scared. Oh, boy. Paimon's so nervous. Don't be afraid. This is gonna work. Yelon, Xiao, how are we looking? I'm all set. I'm ready. Oh, but Yenfei, there's one thing you might need to mentally prepare yourself for. Hmm? I'm afraid you probably won't be able to take the Fantastic Compass out of here. From what I can tell, everything within this domain is the result of disordered oh space-time and memories. We all came here for different purposes, and everything that's happened here has been in response to our own imaginations and conjecture. Terrifying, but also a miracle. Oh this God. space... well, it's more than just a space. Whether there's some kind of higher power at work here, I don't know, but... The whole time, it's been reading our minds and responding to us in the form of illusions. Oh, okay. Also, according to the history of the chasm, this place must have existed for a very long time. What could have created it? I remember a giant snake just outside this space. Oh, that. Yeah, I was there too. Yeah, you saved us from it. Huh? Wait a second. It was you that shot that arrow? Who else did you think it was? When the crystal attacked the giant snake, does that have anything to do with the why the ground split open? That snake is probably a remnant of Conrion's civilization. 
and crystals are highly effective against it. Maybe there was some sort of opposing reaction between those two forces? <sighs> if so, I'm extremely sorry, everyone. It looks like I might be the one responsible for all of this. No, no! You're just trying to help us and solve the problem! You're definitely not to blame for what happened. <laughs> if you say so. You could almost liken this bizarre space to a living being that throws all kinds of hallucinations at us to deceive us. Everyone we've seen here, and all the paths we've walked, it all ceased to exist 500 years ago. Additionally, most of the things here are static. So if we really do manage to escape, then once time starts moving normally again, the fantastic compass will likely disappear. That's actually what I think, too. That's precisely why it's such a miracle that we even found the Fantastic Compass to begin with. This whole thing feels like we're breaking free from our shackles using a spear that by rights should not exist. This is a long shot, but it may be our last chance. So, whose wish was it that summoned this device? Perhaps it was all of us. Perhaps it was. But maybe there's another reason. Your incredibly strong commitment to your search. It's a shame that we couldn't find your family, but if they were here, I'm sure they'd want nothing more than to see you being rescued from this place. Uh. I gotta say, it does intrigue me, the way we all ended up here together. If this is fate, then let's grab it in our hands and turn it around. Leave the boss to Ushi and me. We're ready. Traveler, take care of Paimon. Yenfei, you might need to come closer to me when the time comes. Sure. All right. <sighs> oh, I'm scared. What's going to happen? Stars align. Bestow your light. Evil purged by thunder's might. Spirit curbed. New must surge. By dictum divine. Heed these words. Do as I command. <laughs> Fantastic Compass is an amplifier. Maintain this energy level, and we may stand a chance. I will maintain the energy flow. Understood. Everyone, stand back. I shall hold the line by sealing the surface. As Yaksha's, we must fight for this world. General Alatus, falling in! <sighs> Oh wow. That are those the shadows? Watch out. <laughs> Oh, shit. <gasps> this trip may be dangerous, yet you insist on going. I have guarded this place for several hundred years. Only to seek the nameless Yaksha do I request your approval. Hmm. Oh my god. Let's go here, big go! <laughs> yes. Oh, Joe. Ah! <laughs> 
can't keep this up. Your strength won't last. Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh no, they played this song afterwards. <sighs> that was close. I thought you were gonna get left behind. I'm so glad you're okay. That was Xiao. terrifying. Xiao, please recognize what just happened. <laughs> please. I know what you were thinking, but... <laughs> Never mind. I know I can't talk you out of a mindset that's been built up over a lifetime. Joe, uh, please I don't acknowledge think we what happened. We're going to reach an agreement over the final strategy. But in the end, it was thanks to you that we managed to escape. So, thank you for saving us all. No, I could not have done this on my strength alone. Thanks to you too, Yuan. Don't mention it. <sighs> I'm literally shaking. like everyone got out unscathed, but you all look pretty exhausted. Rest up. There's no hurry to move on from here. As for me, I'm gonna check the area for any unusual activity. She's gone. Paimon didn't even get to say thank you. <sighs> Maybe Aelon really doesn't believe she made a contribution. It seems like she's convinced Xiao saved us all, including her, and she doesn't know what to say to that. <sighs> and since it's not easy to persuade Xiao of anything, maybe Aelon's just given up trying to talk to him. Xiao, she's criticizing you! I am not! <laughs> you speak only of the truth. I have no quarrel with that. I will keep your words in mind. Got through to them. Really? Well, that's great. I count that as quite an achievement. It was a perilous situation we were faced with underground, and it took every single one of us for any of us to make it out alive. I feel lucky that we didn't lose anyone along the way. Hey, so Bull Checker still hasn't woken up yet. Surely he's not gonna stay <laughs> asleep forever, is he? I doubt it. This is Zito we're talking about. Let's go check on him. Mm -hmm. ah, I slept like a rock. Ah, good times. Huh? Whoa, what you doing? What's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Zito, you slept through the coolest thing ever. 
Are you in any pain? Mm -hmm. It's our douchey noises. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The head? What about it? Is there any brain damage from the impact? Get you. Okay, you need to tell us if you're not feeling well. You weren't that bright to begin with, so if we add brain damage to the equation... <laughs> oh, brother. What the heck are you guys talking about? I'm fine! I had an epic power nap, and now I feel like a million mora. Huh. I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. Uh... Oh, yeah! Wait, weren't we underground? How did we get back up here? It's a long story. We'll fill you in later. Ito, we're indebted to you, Shinobu, and Ushi. We couldn't have escaped this predicament without your help. I'm the reason you all got caught up in this. Please accept my apologies, and let me find some way to compensate you for the trouble. Bah, crazy talk! You helped us first! Of course we're gonna return the favor. <laughs> hey, if it weren't for you, we'd still be in a Liyue jail cell right now. That's not quite correct. You'd be in jail, not me. <laughs> Shit, I was like, I have no part in this. <laughs> Me too, says Ushi. <laughs> Good point. Well, okay then. How about this? To celebrate our newfound friendships, how about you let me take you to Leah Harbor for some sightseeing and a proper meal? I like the sound of that. Now that you mention it, whew, I am famished. Oh, I can barely walk here. I'm hungry too, Senpai. Why don't we head straight over? Mom, we have other things to do. Uh, uh, fine! Alright, well, I promise I'll take good care of your friends from Inazuma. Take it easy, okay? What we just went through was a lot. <laughs> have fun, you guys. Oh, great! Yaelon left already. I was gonna treat her to some tea. But I'll take this to mean we're square. Oh my god. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Is that right? Wow. Okay, I'll let him know. Can't believe Ryuji's almost died again. Traveler, Flying Lavender Melon, Ushi has a couple words he'd like you to pass on for him. What? Oh, I want to hear this. Yes, I agree. Ryuji does deserve better. Me too. Count me in. This is why I always... It's all, his treatment is why I say Persona 4 is my favorite Persona game now. <laughs> you don't translate what Ushi says yeah, for everyone. Yeah, yeah! Let's do that! Okay. Paimon never would have guessed that Ushi was so gentle and thoughtful. Never judge a bull by its cover, huh? Mm. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Sometimes the profoundest truths can also be the simplest. I think Ushi's words may well come in handy. I'm gonna get an Ushi plush if they ever sell one on Etsy. I need one. Look at how vibey he is. You betcha! Just leave it to us! Alright, Ito, Shinobu, Ushi, let's go. Oh yeah! Grub time! <laughs> See you next time. I miss you guys. <sighs> Yeah. Finished taking care of business? Oh, there wasn't any business. We were just saying goodbye to our friends. <laughs> You're still here. I saw the two Inazumans leave with Yenfei, heading towards Liyue Harbor. Aren't you going with them? We still had some stuff we wanted to say to Xiao. Hmm, I figured as much. I've checked the area. Nothing strikes me as out of the ordinary. Looks like this chapter has come to a close. Now, I just need to take care of the confidentiality issues. <laughs> Let's hope our friends from overseas can keep their mouths shut. God. For own sakes. You're so cool! I want you so bad! Uh, we got it! We got it! We'll make sure they don't say anything! Please don't hurt them. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> you got a mean streak, Yolan. You figured me out, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'll quit pulling your leg. Everyone really rose to the occasion this time. I won't ever forget what we went through. Nico's got mommy competition. Where could that strange space have come from? 
And how has it existed down there undetected for so many years? <laughs> I have to investigate this further. I have a feeling that whatever lies behind all this runs deep. Maybe so deep that no one can be allowed to know. Also, I think someone helped us out at the last minute. <gasps> they did a good deed, of Thank course. Thank you! But somehow I couldn't tell anything about them. It must have been someone of great importance. Thank you for acknowledging what he did. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm having an emotional crisis. Anyway, these questions will have to wait for another time. I have some follow-up work to do and reports okay. to make. So it's back to Liyue Harbor for me. See you when I see you. Bye, ma'am. I'll do a stream for your story quest this weekend, I promise. Bye, Yaelon! Alright. You knew I was waiting for you? Yes, it was obvious. Really? Hmm. There's somewhere I want to go. If you have the time, you can join me. Where is it? A place that has to do with the Yakshas. Oh god, where? God, like... I am suffering. I be suffering so bad. Where am I going? Uh... Oh. Where was it again? Uh, was it here? Hold on. Oh no! Ah! Uh, I have to do this quest because Zhao is in the middle of it? Yeah. Man! Okay. I guess I'll do that really quick. No! I didn't realize it would be that important. <laughs> Fucking controller. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> Why are you here? Are you here to see Pervasis as well? I was just passing through. What are you two here for? We're here to see Pervases. Aw, but this place isn't much of a mess as last time. There's a temple here and a statue too. Why doesn't anyone come to maintain this place? Perhaps this place has been forgotten. How can people forget something like this? The Yakshas are heroes who defended Liwa Harbor. <laughs> now, are... Are you angry? No, the Yakshas did not not perform their duty for any form of recognition. Eh, let's not talk about this stuff right now. Grill tiger fish first. Uh, and if you want if you want to have some Zhao, we can give you half of, of our share each. It's fine. Help, help me! Huh, did you hear that? There, someone's calling for help. Let's go. Eh, what about the grilled tiger fish? Paimon hasn't eaten yet! Typical Paimon. Oh, it's just the pilly trolls. Solidify. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Almighty Adeptus. Thank you, Mighty Hero. Oh, what are the odds? We meet again. You know us? How could I forget you? You're... I'm Wang Ping. P or Ping on. Don't you remember me? Oh! Star Snatcher? From Zhao's Story Quest? Really? He's back? Huh? What? What's... 
what Star Snatcher? Please, l let's not bring that up. Not in front of the Adeptus. I was just getting ready to make an offering at the Temple of the Yaksha for Vases. But not long after I entered the mountains, I was set upon by those treasure hoarders. Uh, uh, sir, they were hilly trolls. Uh, <laughs> thank you for saving me. Wait a moment. What What were you going to do at Pervasi's temple? Were you planning on doing something bad to his statue? No, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Then what were you planning to do? I wanted to restore the temple. My plan today was to closely examine the temple's current condition and arrange for the purchase of the appropriate materials. I never expected to be targeted halfway by treasure hoarders and forced to flee. They were hilly trolls! Okay. It was the guy that was pretending to be the Yaksha, uh, Yaksha in, in, uh... Um... In, uh, Jao's story quest. I remember it. I remember it. Great, this is hardly the place for conversation. Let's go to the temple first. We'll speak there. Go, I have other things to handle. It? You're leaving already? And he's gone. Oh, cool! I can finish- I can do it now! The temple up ahead was built to remember Pervases. Maybe I came here because I had a realization. You mean, back when we were underground? What did you realize? It's hard to put into words. Seeing Bosatius gave me the false impression that I'd traveled back into the past. You could dress up the Yaksha's life and call us valiant warriors, veterans of war. But the truth is, we are slaughterers and nothing more. For Bosatius, perhaps dying in the heat of a great battle was no tragedy. And perhaps the same is true for me. After living so long, to die in the act of saving others would not have been a terrible thing. I think you know that isn't true. Hmm. So maybe... these thoughts are my own form of insanity. Hey, don't say that! Yeah, we've got something to tell you. Oh yeah! Ushi wanted us to tell you! It's very important. Hmm? Ushi said he has the power to exorcise demons, so people use him to fend them off. But after he met Ito, he's never left his side. Aww. He also said that he doesn't have any grand philosophies. He just thinks we should spend our lives around the people who make us happiest. Oh, that came from Ushi? Maybe there aren't so many rules about how Aww. we should or shouldn't live our lives in this world after all. So... He hopes you can come to understand that even though the power of a Yaksha may be harmful to other people, it doesn't mean you shouldn't hang out with them. There always there will always be someone willing to be by your side. Yep. Like people with visions. They have more resistance against your power, right? And and well, anyway, there's lots of people out there who really care about you. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, you sound a lot like Bosatius and the others. They used to talk about how they hoped to live a mortal's life once the world was at peace. I think... I was the only one who didn't think that way. And me! The Bosatius recorded <laughs> in the Fantastic Compass had lost his sanity. He addressed the people around him as Alatus, Minogius, and others. These are the names of the five Yakshas. I am Alatus, and Minogius is General Capesis. Nogius? The others are Bonanus, or General Chizapis, and Indarius, or General Musatis. I heard that people call the five of us Yakshas, the Guardian Adepti. <laughs> Osatius and Yelon's ancestors stayed underground to the end. So that space must have read their minds in their last moments as they approached death. Yelon was right in everything she said. Both of our proposals had their drawbacks. And both were sensible suggestions. But the power of that space was far beyond all of us. I couldn't have done all I did without everyone's help. Even in the final moments, 
It took every bit of my power to break free from that place. Well, Paimon still thinks you are amazing. Yenfei and Yelan are correct. I always prepare for the worst case scenario. This mindset is deeply rooted in me. Even so, it was the most optimistic solution I could think of. If Rex Lapis hadn't saved me in that moment, I don't think I would have been able to escape. So that was Zhongli's power back there. In the end, I still had to burden another. Oh my god. That, that's how it should be, right? You've known Zhongli, uh, Rex Lapis, for such a long time. And you've helped him before, so he helped you back. What's the big deal? I'm about to have a fucking- This is why Zhongli is one of my fucking comfort characters. Supporting each other is how people survive. Perhaps. In the moment that we escaped from that space, I could sense what was left of Bosatius's memory. If I had to say what I gained from this trip, I think that would be it. I think I felt it too. It's good that one more person will remember him. Hmm. Oh. Mm, Minogius. Where oh. have you been? <sighs> Brother Yakshai, you're confused again. I've told you countless times, I am Boyang, a thaumaturge who fought with you in the chasm. Boyang? Boyang? You are Boyang, but who am I? <laughs> Believe me, I want to know as much as you do. Oh, he has four arms. Who agreed to stay here together, and I can't even call you by your name. It's a shame. Stay here? No. No, you have to leave. Uh, nonsense, Brother Yaksha. We're down here for good now. Don't you remember? It's too late to have regrets. The seal can't be broken. The seal. Ah, oh, yes. I'm a Yaksha who came here to fight. Brother, brother, are you okay? <laughs> Look at the state of me. I don't think I've got long now. <laughs> We're the only two left. Don't go dying on me. <sighs> you know, today I saw my family down here. Clearest day. What do you think? Am I losing my mind now, too? Hmm. Boyong, do you want to go home? I made my decision to leave Zhong Zhao up on the surface. I obviously. <sighs> of course, I want to go home. I must have family, too. You mean brothers and sisters? I'm sure you do. Brothers and sisters. Yes, but who am I? And where is my family? I'm... Brother! What's wrong? Hang in there. It's just you and me, don't... Don't die before me. <sighs> Atlantis, is that you? Who's Alatus? Your memory's going again. <coughs> I'm sorry. You all have to see me in this state. Brother! Brother! Look! There's someone over there! Who are they? They're... They're my... My... Remember now, I know you. <laughs> My brothers and sisters have come for me, Boy Young. You're, you're awake. At least, at least tell me your name. Brother, brother Bosatius. <laughs> hey, Bosatius. <laughs> Bosatius. I... I am Bosatius, and my destiny 
is to make the ultimate sacrifice. I've said so much today, but I don't need to hold back as much when I talk to you. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like you were aware of your destiny? The potential of life? The approach of death? Whatever it might have been. By now, I have accepted that destiny is the one disaster that the Yaksha know most keenly of all. We are destined to misery. And yet, we have no fear. Sure, it's okay for you to tell me all this. It matters not. Rex Lapis had said that you are a witness. It is right that the events of the world are relayed to you. <clears throat> Bonanus, Minogius, and Indarius all perished, and only Bosatius' fate was unknown. This has always stung my heart like a thorn. That is why I went to the chasm, despite being fully aware of the danger. Now that I know what happened in the chasm back then, I can finally put this matter to rest. Before we left that place, I picked up a stone. I thought if I could take it out with me, I would place it in the temple to Pervases in memory of Bosatius. Unfortunately, the stone did not survive. Pervases died in the Archon War thousands of years ago. He was younger than us, and Bosatius was very sad when he passed. Too many Yakshas have become casualties of battle. We are like a flock of birds, scattered to the four corners of the world. And in the end, as Bonanus said, it's rare for a Yaksha to find repose for their soul. Bosatius, Boyang, and all those soldiers. They're all heroes. Heroes. I like that word. Maybe the world will never be free of disaster. But there is good in the world, too. Even the darkest hearts have room for those they cherish. I accept your advice. From this day on, heroes will always look out for each other. Oh shit, more stuff to do? Oh, that's- okay. <laughs> now says nothing more. Complex emotions to run across his face as he looks to the temple of Supervases. Sadness, disappointment, relief. They're all there, yet only a small part of a far larger whole. His expression is akin to that of a person who has been out in, a bl in the blizzard for far too long and seen far too much of it before finally gaining a place of res respite from the battering snow. Um, do you want to see me do it or do you want to wait? Because I can pull for you on and then you could go to sleep if you want. Okay. And then I could get that Kaya Cod too. Oh wait, hold on, I want to do one more thing. Okay. Just uh, just give me a second. Let me do this then. Oh, sorry. And let me pull real quick. Oh wait, I wanna get the the things. Oh wait, I can't do it yet. Oh, I can do this, yeah. Sorry, I'm in a... I'm in a state of duress right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, Yanfei! Please, I don't want to lose another 50-50. Wells, what the fuck? I, okay, she's not even on this banner, is she? Or am I just stupid? Oh no, wait, she is. 
Fuck. <laughs> Whoops. Here we go, yell on you. Uh... Oh great, a rain slasher. Awesome. God. This is bode well for my sanity. Really? Okay. Okay, we got another one, boys. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, let's just... Nope. Oh god! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Finally! Mental breakdown right now. Okay, okay. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What was the quest called? Was it, um. This one? Or wait. Is it on the stage behind the stage, or the tails behind the fan? Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. <laughs> I'm so... But where are those who share the memory? Oh my god! I'm so happy right now. I'm going! I'm going! Ah. Sorry, I'm in an emotional state of fucking... <laughs> Wait, who, where, what? Oh, oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Wanna to talk to someone about this? We can try our luck and see if we can find the person there! Wait, uh, My controller is being stupid! Oh, there we go. Well, fine, whatever. It got us there. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, well. Look, he really is over there. Hey, Zhongli! Oh, it's you two. We came to ask you about something. Oh, why is it this voiced? Oh my god. Okay. Would you mind waiting for a moment? I'm currently in the middle of something. I'm sad! Okay, whatever. What are you busy with? Speaking of which, do you <clears throat> oh sorry. Speaking of which, 
To think you managed to return so quickly! What speed! Uh, Zhongli, are these your friends? They often come here to look for you. Uh, yes, they are, uh, old acquaintances of mine. Splendid! Since you two are also here, could you help me persuade Zhongli to sell his archaic stone, please? Archaic stone? Archaic stone? What would you want one of those for? Do you not know? Archaic stone is highly sought after now. It's not even a matter of price, for there is barely any supply on market. <sighs> I was telling stories as usual today, and Zhongli dropped by as usual, too. Somehow we talked about my through the eyes of a dragon, one of my finest works, if I do say so myself. I'd love to go back over it from time to time. A good one, isn't it? <laughs> Zhongli also says that my storytelling is superb. At first I thought he was just an erud erudite? Is that how you say that word? An erudite gentleman who knew a lot of about folk culture, but as it turned out, he's also well versed in history and mythology. So now I have to trouble him with the various questions I've got. Hmm, I wonder why he is. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. Don't sound don't be so modest. You've helped me a lot, but come to think of it, the act of chatting is pleasurable is pleasurable only because you're talking to the right person. Zhongli, for instance, is a good chatting companion with many fantastic ideas, and, to be honest, lots of far-fetched theories, too. <laughs> there was one time when I told them, see, my first story tells of how Rex Lapis carved Asia out of a magical rock, and then elaborates on how they fought side by side across the four corners of the world. Isn't that just mesmerizing? <laughs> Yet he said the story is a true masterpiece, save for some inaccurate details. <laughs> Sorry. I just I find it funny that whenever people think they're just they're talk talk about Rex Lapis to to him like and they don't know who he really he is. <laughs> it's just funny to me. Yeah, he said the story is a true masterpiece save for some inaccurate details. According to some researchers, Rex Lapis may not have possessed the skills required to create such a work of craftsmanship. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> What a bummer! And there was also the time when I told him about the Serpent of Chinsei Village. <laughs> he didn't buy the story at all, saying it was too good to be true for the serpent to transform into a beautiful landscape. Hmm, I wonder if too much knowledge could stifle imagination. What a shame that someone as well-cultured as Zhongli should fail to appreciate the aesthetics of artistic creation. <laughs> I know! I know that he wants to not- want, doesn't want people to know, but I just want him to tell one person. Just one person, that's all. I want to know. I want to see that. Please, sir. Uh, anyways. I can hardly object to your criticism. I shall keep it in mind. But your stories are always marked by wild imaginations. I just pointed out what what I just point out what I notice as ordinary as an ordinary listener and hope that it might be of use to you. The storyteller requires a sharp mind. I am sure a storyteller such as you <laughs> yeah, literally! Sorry, I I just, I get so, like, worked up on that point. I just want to see it once and see what people say. That's all. <laughs> Sorry, back to what I was saying. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, she, I'm sure she knows. Like, I'm 100% sure she knows who he really is. Anyways. Sorry, I gotta shut up. Since storytelling requires a sharp mind, I am sure a storyteller such as you can certainly understand where I'm coming from. Those are the heartfelt reactions from a devoted audience member. You're right, I know your good intentions. You want me to become the best storyteller in Leeway Harbor, right? I don't think you get it, sir. <laughs> Why are we talking about stories here? What's what has this what has this got to do with the archaic stone? Ah, uh, yes, back on topic, back on top. So I told through the eyes of a dragon again the other day. Aren't you ever worried that your audience will get bored if you always tell the same story? Some stories are worth being told time after time forever and ever. <clears throat> oh, God, my throat. The stories are meant to be told repeatedly. It takes time and creativity to come up with new plots after all. Uh, see? Zhongli really gets me. Anyway, that day a miner, the leader of a mining crew, was out for work and happened to pass by while I was telling the story. He told me, Well, do you know about the chasm? There's a type of incredibly beautiful stone to be found in that place. Such store- Such- mm, st <laughs> Such stones have a faint and ex an exquisite luster. You can find them somewhere in a long and winding tunnel in the chasm. Hmm, what did he say? I think tunnel is the word he used, right? You could probably say that. 
<laughs> yes, they did! And I'm like, I get it. And I'm like, that's so good. But also, like... Oh, the chasm must be quite the mysterious place. If even someone as well-traveled as Zhongli has never been there. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> tell him! Okay. <laughs> Just tell him! <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. I guess that's got to be because no one was allowed to go in until recently when mining operations resumed. And I only heard about it that from others. Ah, yes, indeed. Spider said that the stone springs forth within a tunnel. No one knows who built it. All they know is that the tunnel meanders forward as if created by someone dragging something colossal down. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Don't get technical with me, Missy. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> alright, alright. The sheer view of it was is most awe-inspiring, apparently. Some say that the place might have perhaps been an ancient battlefield. I I will kick your ass. Um, <laughs> But who fought there? We may never know. So I thought that Rex Lapis and Asia Hook could have fought there. Well, you were right about that. <laughs> Actually, I've been working on a new story lately. It'd be nice if I could put this plot into it, so I thought. <laughs> so I invited Zhang Li over to ask for his ideas. And to my surprise, he's in possession of an archaic stone. He said he bought it from a merchant at the market. With what money? Sorry. <laughs> He's got good taste and wouldn't miss a true treasure. I was thinking that the stone could make an ideal testament to my story, so if Zhongli doesn't object, I would like to purchase the stone as a memento. Zhongli, are you really gonna sell him that stone? Yes, Tian is an in ingenious storyteller, and I enjoy his stories very much. It's my pleasure to be able to contribute to his creation. Wait, was it? Eh? That said, if I stole him the, sold him the stone, it would undermine the credibility of his story. As we have discussed before, Rex Lapis sealed Asia underground. According to experts, there are many caves and, mine, and mining tunnels in the chasm. It would be a constant disturbance to the people there if Asia really was sealed there. Would Rex Lapis not have considered that? I don't know. Would you? Hmm, that makes sense. You're right. Rex Lapis wouldn't have done something so careless. Yep, that's a good point. <sighs> to be honest, I wanted to exchange my favorite fighting fan for Jungle's archaic stone. Huh? There's an illustration on it. I love to have his, this fan in hand while. S uh, sorry. Oh god. A lot of reading today. I love to have this fan in hand while telling through the eyes of a dragon. Upon it, it upon it is drawn a dragon sword into the into the skies. <clears throat> its body free to roam the world and its spirit I'm bound to aim high. It's an inspiring view. Wow, this sort of fan's really rare. You know, even Paimon wants it now. Oh, right. Don't we have an archaic stone, too? R really? Then would you mind giving it to me? You can have my folding fan. Might I have a word? The archaic stone is precious indeed, and your folding fan is also a work of art. I would advise against exchanging them as you would ordinary goods. Hmm. <coughs> Well, if you say so. Actually, you know, I have more than one such fan. You drew the illustrations on them, and that already makes them special. Anyone who enjoys your storytelling will rejoice if they were given such a generous gift. Really? Hmm, you're right. I am truly fortunate to have devoted listeners who understand my stories, and I couldn't ask for more than that, could I? To be honest, I made these fans so that I could one day gift them to like-minded audiences. And you certainly are such audiences, so they were always meant to be yours. Please wait here for me to fetch them. Boop, 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 boop. And you certainly are- Wait, oh. Can I- Blech, sorry. Can I really keep this? Of course, you're my audience, and that makes you a worthy recipient. Besides, I've made several such fans. So don't worry, just take it. And Zhongli, there's no need to be formal with me either. It's just a handmade fan. I hope it's not too meager a gift for you. <laughs> I'll gladly take it, thank you. An exquisite work of art indeed. It is truly something worth treasuring. Ah, right. Actually, we came to ask Zhongli about something. Can we talk to him for a moment? Ah, have I taken up too much of your time? Oh dear. Well then, please, go ahead. There's no need to apologize. You have my gratitude. This is so weird that this is not voice acted. Zhongli, were you at the chasm? And you saved us too, didn't you? Thank you. Zhao also said that he wouldn't have been able to escape without your help. 
Oh, did he say so? Interesting. How time flies. Even he has learned to open up to others. So, what were you doing at the chasm? Hmm? Was I at the chasm? How curious. I must admit that this is the first time I'm here. What? Sir! Don't lie to us. <laughs> I... I cried over you being there. Huh? Stop playing dumb! <laughs> Why would I play dumb? Hmm. This fan is of high quality indeed. Really? Now that I'm on vacation, I just take my time and walk around. I say it at anything I run into as a half stance of favor potential team. <laughs> oh my god, I love this man so much. What the fuck? Cut to think. <laughs> Come to think of it, it's nice to travel to different places and witness many things in this vast world. They always bring old memories back. Do you miss the past? Not at all. I'm immortal now, and being mortal means living in the present. Oh. A dragon soaring into the skies, its body free to roam the world, and its spirit unbound to aim high. Most inspiring indeed. We, with much to be perceived in the four corners of the world, and much to marvel at amongst mountains and waters, I believe I must travel still more in the future. Oh. <laughs> oh, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I wasn't there at all. <laughs> Guys, I'm having a fucking breakdown. <laughs> Why would he not? Ugh. Damn it. Fuck you, sir. Uh, no. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. <laughs> and those that come across Leo tend to stay away. Uh, so it is where many things come to say. I fucking love this man so much. It's the reason why he's one of my comfort characters. Jesus Christ. Anyways. I'm s I know! I like, come on, just say, just accept our love and affection. <laughs> Please. <laughs> sure. Whatever you say, Melinda. Um. <laughs> Wait, where did she go? Where the fuck are you? Oh my god, look at her! She's so cool! Oh my god, okay. I have nothing prepared because I didn't think I was gonna like her as much as I do. Hello, traveler. Call me Yelan. I think you may need my help. And I just so happen to be interested in some information you have. In other words, <laughs> you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I mean, he kind of is. It's so... I got a new letter from an informant. Looks like the situation right. has changed again. Have a good night. Love you. Oh, God, that was fucking... A fucking trip, that's what it was. Huh. Good roll. All right, maybe I'll take one more day off and knock out the rest of the work once I'm feeling up to it. Oh, my God, that was so stupid. Anyways... <clears throat> All right, I think I'm gonna... Her birthday's the same as Lucina's! Not oh, one of them. Ayata's up there, too. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I gotta... I'm, my ears are killing me, so I'm gonna go to bed. Or, not bed, but, you know, hang out. So, thank you guys for hanging out. I'll talk to you later. Oh, I got it! I won a 50-50! Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys! <laughs>